Boom. Welcome to the RTM Podcast Show. Season 3, episode 9. Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Don't know. Young Spray. Big Bad Spray. Here with the wickedest co host. You don't know. Cream. Queen Ice Cream. <laughs> Day. Big legend in the building. My mm-hmm. big brother. Mr. Mike. GLC. So happy to see you, my brother. Come on. So happy to see my brother. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Ain't really seen this guy since I nearly died. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But no, my we brother. Speak, we speak, we've been speaking. We know we've been speaking. We've been speaking still. Uh, heart, I went on a rampage after I see that. <laughs> we've been speaking, but that's my guy, man. That's my guy. Come on. And he don't chat to no one. You get what I'm saying? He's a <laughs> madman. So it was. I even had to go and scoop him today to make sure that he comes, just so he don't ring me out. Do you know what I mean? He don't chat to no one, Cream. Mm. He don't chat to no one. But um, now we've got him today. We're gonna have a big episode. Yeah. Thanks for rocking with us. Thanks for the comments. Um, the last episode, big up Ozzy B and Nico. That was a Definitely. good episode. Big them up. More fire. You Definitely. get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Big them up. Um, and you lot need to stop telling me that I'm bullying my cameraman because that's my guy. Mm-hmm. Like, see, they left a comment, you know, like, Spay's always bullying the cameraman. Yeah. Like, no, it's just jokes. You get me? <laughs> but yeah, boom. Now we're going to have a good episode today. Um, we got cream rocking the RT yeah, and the real of the most. Really the most. Clothing. Yeah. And I'm rocking um, Bushkin's thing. Big up Bush. Big up Bushkin. Come you on. get me, car? I see Bushkin rocking the. Um, Bushkin. I went out the other day in it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I go Gary's Nation, yeah, Manchester. I see them picks. I see them picks. And I see Bushkin rocking the RTM yeah. thing again. So I say, you know what? Bushkin's a real one. Come on, remember I saw him in it as well. Performing, definitely. Come on, man. Definitely. Mike, big Mike. My brother, man. (laughs) My brother again, again, again. I want to say, bro. You know already. I've read the convos. Just to see, man. Keep this. We had many conversations in man's (laughs) office. So you know already, fam. And you know what? Honestly, yeah. See, when I started this, when I started, when I. Well, when I was first starting it, when you said, yeah, do the podcast, whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This was one of the first, if not the first person first I phoned. Thought of. I was like, Mike, Mike. Because yeah. I know how he talks. He talks better than me. Mm. Like, I've got my little jokes. But he just knows what he's talking yeah. about. I'm like, do you get what I mean? he talks better than Pound Sterling, all of them. Do you get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He's the podcast guy. If we want to talk about sense and all that. I'm yeah. just a madman, whatever. But <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. In F, so I thought, yeah, I phoned him, Mike. Mm. Mike's like, no, I don't want to talk to no one. I hate podcasts. <laughs> I hate podcasts. <laughs> I, I hate podcasts, man. you get me? Yeah. But you see, man's kept going though. Do you Do get you what I'm saying? But you know with man's thing, with man's thing, it was more... When it comes to spray. I just want my nigga to have something to do. Yeah. That was it, what it was with me from the early years. Like, when, you know, he used to come see me in the office. He used to be in the office, office every day with me. And I'll just be like, like, if you know the terrain of the environment of the music industry, I'm just like, bro, let's get something to do. To, to see him and eat, and contrary to popular belief, he's a bigger yeah. trier yeah. and he's smarter than everyone mm. gives him credit to. So when he mm. sets his mind to something, he does it. Hence why the clothing's still alive. Yeah. Come Hence on. why he keeps things alive. Yeah. So it's just a matter of finding. Including myself. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Hard to kill and that. Thank God. Hard to kill and that. You get what I'm saying? So like, it was just like, just finding that thing to do, innit? And so I was happy that he found something to do. Obviously, I, like, Spray's a real nigga, innit? So he turned around like, but Mike, I'm going to sit down and be ch- chatting shit for weeks, but you know what? I don't care. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> like, cool. Uh, you know, it's not that I don't like podcasts. I just think that 
A lot of people at the time, no, no, but at the know, time, a lot of people are talking that shouldn't be talking. That's what. Mm-hmm. Remember, mm-hmm. at the time when man first started, it was just. They, remember, after we started, there's been an influx of everyone doing podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. Believe that, and mm-hmm. even the people that was doing podcasts before us, we've influenced them. You get mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. We've influenced them. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna say it again. You get mm-hmm. me? The pound sterling thing. Before we started, there was just him and Doug. They were talking shit as well. You get what I'm saying to each other? Not talking friends, shit, but be, talking. Fair, pounds won and mm. Pounds was the only, but the first one I see that I say, okay, that's mm. like. Yeah, they were talking. Yeah, they were talking, talk, yeah, they were talking talk. good stuff. I'm not even saying shit mm. still. I'm going to take yeah. that back. But they were just talking to each other. But then man's come and man's got guests and that. You get what I'm saying? So they started having guests and that. You get what I'm saying? That's why. Like, with podcasts, it's about perspective. Yeah. Like I said, with Pounds, so you can, the perspective that of a grown of a man in it. So you can take that perspective on. Yeah. With your perspective, your perspective, someone who's been here, seen it, done it. So regardless mm. of how you're, it's like I said it to you the other day. One of the mm-hmm. things that I don't think, one of the things that people are, are taking from Spray's podcast is that the ideology of what most people pretend or want to be, mm. he's been it. And he's the, he's the epiphysis of it. So to see the human element, someone who's been through this, been through that, sit here, be human, talk human, I think it's more important for the you to see than anything. Mm-hmm. So the perspective, and it's like, so even when you look at podcast hosts, the perspective they're te- who's telling you yeah. is what's important. I don't yeah. want to sit down and hear something from a man who's been in the indus- industry for 10 minutes and, t- and then now he's rewriting the rules. Exactly. Come on, bro. Yeah, mad. And mm-hmm. <clears throat> I've got my co-host as well, mm-hmm. who adds... Come on, but like, so much to my show. Our relationship, like I've known Cream, mm-hmm. like so I'll give you a know start. I've known Cream mm-hmm. and a sis for yeah. about fifth day. They came to my office with Jay. Yep, we were just years starting ago. out. Yeah, yeah. When you lot was just get, you had the group that I was in. Where was I? In Finchley, wasn't I? Yeah, and I, I think so. In Finchley. Yeah, and I see it, but from there, so the energy, so to even see. That's what I'm saying. So you know, she's like a female spray ish. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She knows the thing, so. Mm-hmm. It just works. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And they like to follow the game. Cream, well. cream, cream, no, cream, 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 cream. Not only that as well. Like you need someone real enough to sit down and look at your face right. and say, "Yo, yeah. bro." Yeah. 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 Just say to me, "You come back." Yeah. She she will tell me. Yeah, she, she she thinks he's bad still. But yeah. 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 He thinks he's bad still. You get me? But yeah. But now I'm proud of Monica still. Just definitely. The day. Now now respect for that though. Yeah. Respect for that. No, I mean, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You get me? That's a little. Coming give from me a little flowers. Well. Yeah, yeah, coming from Big you. Mike. Come on. That's one of my um, inspirations, mm. furthermore. Mm. And I told him, like, I told you the other day, I told him, uh, you're, you're the, he's better than me, you know? Mm. Fuck you, innit? <laughs> yeah. like, you're better than me, safe. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But just like the rapping shit, you get what I'm saying? He's mm. a fucking sick rapper. Mm. Like, mm. just a sick rapper. He just taught me how to fucking rap without writing and that. Yeah. I feel like you're definitely, um, you was a before your time. Well, I do know what a lot because even when I just met you, when you said that you met me, when I met you, I remember coming to your offices and stuff. Like you had a vision before quite a lot of people. Do you know what I mean? I remember you were your marketing team. You had people out there do doing stuff, the, the loads of things. Yeah, he was on. He was, he on, was on it. The realest thing I say to people, a lot of it was necessity. Mm. In a sense of like, <clears throat> if you're doing anything for real, like I don't, sometimes I think what are people. I don't know. Like, I can't. I don't know what other people are doing, but. If you've been outside your life, if, you, if, you, if you, you've been outside most of your life and you're coming to do this, mm-hmm. this has got to pay some bills and all that. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, I remember being in, you know, 1920, sitting in a studio, counting my last 20 bags and saying, I want to go and do music. Mm. I'm going to pay the bills now because mm-hmm. we're going to. But then it was a different time because we was taking that money and pretending we had deals. Yeah. It wasn't talking about, right, oh, that money came from elsewhere. We mm-hmm. was actually trying to profess the whole thing so it had to be real you had to make it so if I'm going to do music I have to have businesses I have yeah. to have offices I have to be able to know how these bills are going to get paid so that was always my, my way of doing it even yeah. now you know and I, like I said to Spray when I came on the show and we, we said before this I said bro I don't want to talk to nobody but yeah. the truth is <laughs> the love that I've got from this show mm-hmm. and the amount of people that sit on the couch and including Spray including so like yeah. I have to do this before I do what I'm doing he's probably the most mentioned, mentioned guy look, that's been a guest that we've had that have it, 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 mentioned but, you. but you know why because who's sitting on this couch are real people yeah like it's the real people it's the people really that the most yeah. you know? it's the yeah. people that have truth you know? mm-hmm. so they're going to tell their truth for what, what was a lot of people are rewriting history which is I'll be honest it used to piss me off mm. but I'm alright with it now it's uh, it's what it is. Cool, isn't it? The truth will always come out. It's what it is. Like, mm. end of the day, the truth 
the truth is why some will remain and why some can't, innit? So exactly. it is what it is. But yeah, man, I don't know. Well, I do know you have watched the show a couple of times, so you kind of know the team. No, I watch the show. But, you come on. Yeah, come on. But um, see, obviously, we start off. We start off with like background check and all this stuff, like your little story. But I know he don't really want to tell his whole story. Mm, mm, mm. He's being a madman because he's got a movie coming out. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So he don't really. But just the basics. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. where was you born? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, just the basics. School. Uh, to touch on the thing you're talking. Um, I'm doing something with my brothers at Link Up. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a song I had called Mother. My brother Rush hit me up. Like he's always loved the song. We put the song together years ago. And when I had that Talitha case, we were supposed to shoot something for it. We didn't. And then um, he said, "Like, do you want to do what we what we kind of done with Ratman?" And obviously, this is a real, this is a true story. Mm. And it's so a lot of my life is wrapped up in that. So we're going to be releasing that. We're gonna start filming at the end of the month, so we're gonna be releasing that within the next few months. Okay. So that's all. That that was all it was. Is that? You know, mm. I'm not yeah. like but no. we're just gonna yeah. advertise it. No, yeah, I'm not that No one cares about my life. I'm just saying we're gonna advertise it. So yeah, where was you born? So North Mid Hospital. North Mid. Yeah. North Mid. Um, so where do you wanna do? Where do you wanna go? For? North Mid. Um, for those that don't know, where is that? What area um, is that? North, North Middlesex. North Middlesex, <laughs> like, basically it's like anyone from like Tottenham. Tottenham and all that. Okay. Yeah. Anyone from North London really, well, nah, not really, because we got wet, wet in them. Wet in them, yeah. Yeah, wet in But um, yeah, so, um, single parent, dub, both parents, how was home life, siblings? <clears throat> so home life. Siblings? Well, yeah, I got brother, I got, I got brothers and sisters, but my dad's side, most of my brothers and sisters on my dad's side. My mum's side with me and my brother. Mm-hmm. What country is your background? My mum's Jamaican. My mum was born in Jamaica. Okay. My aunt, well, my family were Jamaican. They came here. They came here together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, see, you know, we can get into all the, the violin, whip the violins out, people dying, family tragedies and all that. Mm-hmm. But really, get to about six, I end up in care. Um, was you in care before or after your mum died? No, I was in care. She was always... So basically, my mum was always sick from when... She she was born. Mm-hmm. Um, she, you know, it was a risk even having us kind of thing. So, big up mummy though, man. Yeah, All right, you rest in power, both yeah. of our mothers. You get yeah, what I'm saying? On. Some shower girl them. And you know what? Get me. Like, come on, <laughs> come, come on, on, fab. And this is what I want to yeah. say. You know, thank. I'm, I'm gonna just give a big love to Rush to getting on this project. Yeah. You know, even when he jumped on it, I'm like, bro, you sure this is my heart? He's like, bro, we're doing this, mm. and he's really been on it and. It's, it means a lot to man because her story is one. What we're trying to make this, we're giving it, you know, this is a story of not just death, this is a story of sh- strength. Of mm. our, you know, many of our parents came. Giving her rare flowers, isn't it? Many of our parents mm. came and struggled mm. to make sure that, you know, so it's kind of, that's part of the story as well. So, you know, it's going to, you know, you're going to see who she was. So that's yeah. going to be, that's going to be good. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Of course you are. Come on. Of course you are, but we'll keep it, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so um, <laughs> so using care because that's like the idea. Using care, so basically from so it's all a bit, it's all a bit, it's all. Do a you bit know tough. the decisions what got you in care? Yeah, so it's was all. It, it's all. Mummy was just sick, or there's a lot going on in okay. between. Yeah. A lot was gonna again. You know what the fucked up thing? I actually, you know, if I was gonna tell my my life anyway, it would probably be in my bridge and sitting down. Mm-hmm. It just so happens we're gonna be making this film now. Mm. Yeah, so you know, like that. But yeah. like, so there's 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 stuff that's happening leading up to that. To got the whole now. No, basically, they thought I was troubled. I could guess you could say. Mm-hmm. So if you look up the whole now, <laughs> it's called a therapeutic home for kids with problems or some shit. It's a madhouse, basically, for kids. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a place for kids who, who, you know... Mental health issues. Who are problematic. Okay. You are problematic. So I end up there. So you lot was like the early... Well, you know where else went there. So if you put the maps together, like, yeah. you know like, who else was people. So we've come, yeah. he's got the top little gun bad. And it, that's, what, that's what it was created. So it was, it was full of crazy white boys from all over the country mm. that had never seen black people before, some of them. So you can imagine the antics with there. So, but it was, uh, you know, it was a, it was a learning. It was learning. It was a very. Why cool. pull it there? Calm your bridge. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. You say that's gonna be on uh, uh, after filming. How long did you leave it there for? No, no, it's just, 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 just clipped it. <laughs> I never see that. And okay, so how long was you there for? 
I was there until 13. Really? So, like, it, so during that time, mum's in and out of hospital and the mm-hmm. rest of it. How was life in care? Because you, that kind of guy I know how you are, bloody hell, must have got into more than a few fights. <laughs> fighting, fighting was, yeah, yeah, more, that's, that, that, that's an understatement. The whole thing was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole thing is physical from mm. the start really? to end. Yeah, but that's just what it is. Yeah. If, I, if, if, I, if, I could, if I could compare it to anything, it's like being on a gypsy site. Okay. It's like, see how yeah. gypsies are raised? That's yeah. what being in care is like. But there's, but the elements of it, I, I'd never change the elements because I know that's the difference between man and certain people now. I know it's why I never needed a gang, why I've never needed to find. I've always been happy in my own space because of that. Does that make sense? It made you. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. And also, like I said, I think I, we were talking about before this, one of the things that I learned from care was, and I, I, learned, I learned a lot of my friends from London didn't know that. Like, I never wanted to be a bully. I never kind of, if you, for instance, when we first got to care, you know, the word nigger flew around every day. You spend your first little while running around punching up people. And then after a while, you got no mates. Now, if you're like eight, you're eight years of age mm-hmm. and everyone's scared of you, you're actually lonely. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not, everyone's scared of me, this is cool. I'm mm-hmm. the hardest. No, you've got no mates, bro. Like, you're the age where you're holding teddy bears and no one yeah. likes you because you're punching them in their faces because what you know coming from where you're coming from. Mm. That makes sense. They've never seen black kids before. They've got psychiatric problems where niggas get thrown around every day. <laughs> Smacks. The teacher, you don't get in trouble from the teachers. You call me a nigger. Don't do it again. Yeah. It's different. The teachers mm. watch you finish fights. That's the kind of environment it was. So, like, it, it, made, physical, it, 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 it made physical violence normal, kind of, in a sense of, but you never wanted to become a bully because so you would have no friends, no one like So, when I came to London, it took a little while to get with the the program. the program of people that just wanted to be bad. Mm. I didn't get that at first. Like, I thought we were all, we're all, too, all, we're all black, mm. right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Right, oh, that's mad. But yeah, so that's what care was like. But it, it made man. I would never. And again, all, all the talents that I had, to the art, the creativity, the music, it all starts there. I started really? rapping. And this is why I say like when you know when we talk about origin and music thing, I started mm. rapping from care. Wow. Really. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you like, knew how to rap from in care. Yeah, mm. that's what I like rapping from. That's where I first yeah, like rapping. You rap in America, them times. <laughs> 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 so yeah. you know, like, I was waiting. I was waiting for this moment. Yeah. All right, cool. But we're gonna sort that. Yeah, yeah. The film sorts that out as well. Yeah, yeah. He's rapping in America. The film does sort that out, though. We're gonna lie. The film does sort that out. You get me? But all right, let me let, let, not yourself. Let me like, throw let this out. out to let, a let, let me throw this out there because there's there's a lot of debates about this flow in it. Mm-hmm. You need the birth of the floor. <laughs> yeah? Now, I know this. When I first started rapping the way I rapped, I heard the only people that I heard that I liked were from Knots mm. and Out of Town. And Hayes in it? No, there was um, Out of the Ville. There was Out of the Ville. Oh, yeah. And all the girls could rap. Big up Paris. Obviously, mm-hmm. sis, big up the Battle Leagues. Got Make Paris. sure you stay tuned to what Paris is doing in the Battle League. She's getting mad. No loose chat, see what sister's doing. But there was a crew of them out there. There was Simone, there was Tem, there was a few of them. They, they was on it still. They, they was, could all they rap. rapping still. No, because they're, 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 they're the culture of rapping down there. Yeah, they so they rapping. had a, a better culture with the flow. Where London people, like my bridges didn't care about rap. No one was rapping, no one mm. gave a fuck about rap. That was what London That was did. mad. But the thing was, I started rapping before I came back from care. So that's why I could always rap. So when I'm linking the man, then, that's why when I'm tailoring that, I could rap when I've got to mm. secondary school, because I was rapping from care. Okay. That's why when I'm linking tape, they've never heard no one could rap. Mm. Like, yeah, bust that. yeah that's, a, that's where that's coming from. So, but like... Big up, big brother. It, mm. Come on. So it was like, one of the first people to make me bust a two rap on the bus. Mm. So like, that was... Bro, like, he's the one that fucking made me go studio. Come on, but he slightly really? used to love music. Yeah, yeah, yeah Taylor he, made me go he, studio. He's a man slightly, he, he always loved music. But like, so... I was skip where I was, where was I? Not in them. So yeah, they could rap. Mm-hmm. So, but the best rapper that I heard before I really got to grips with this floor was a guy called Pilo from Bristol. Bristol, yeah? Hardest. Really? One of the most unsung heroes to the game, that one of the hardest rappers the country you've ever seen, and no one's ever spoke his name, Pilo. Pilo. From Bristol, hardest. So he out. had a flow. You won't find, you won't find him? No. You won't find him? He didn't. Like, that's he, how comes, like, that, that's no. how comes Aggie's so hard. Yeah, they, but there was, there was people like Aggie outside like that. So I'm saying, man mm. who didn't, like, were like man, that were rapping, but they're not mm. rap, they're like man in it, so don't care about rap, but there was a couple, and Pilo was one of them. And there was a couple from, yeah, Pilo would tell you, and Aggie would tell you about Pilo. So like, 
So they had the flow. Out of town, they had the flow. So no one in London sounded like all London was like a different kind of that I weren't really on. I mm-hmm. wasn't really on all that. Mm. What about what is it? Did Fifty Seventh Dynasty? Yeah, the London was more that. So at the time, it was more that kind of that kind of rap. Because I remember them. So what happened was uh, here's what happened. Me, I come out of jail one year. I get this is all going to be in the film, but I'm just, just skimming past it. Mm-hmm. I come out of jail one year. We put up some money. We set up a company. A man comes, gives me a bunch of money. Set up a company called Brazen. Now Brazen was a guy who basically owned a company, a telesales company. He was a multi-millionaire. He wanted to put money into music. So I started linking UK rappers because I had a guy behind me that was putting a lot of money into mu- into the UK rap industry. We done a thing called the UK Rap Tour. And we got all these rappers. He got all the UK. Skinny was skinny. Could tell you about this. We put he got a skinny one. Skinny, skinny my brother. Skin, on. So he put he put skinny man, a whole heap of UK rappers on a plane. Took them to Miami. Made them live a life. So what was it Florida? I can't remember. Come back and he had this big dream. So when he's come come back, he's kind of asked people like, "What UK rapper can I get mm-hmm. that can kind of fit the lifestyle that that I wanna I wanna profess?" So at the time, I think I just come out of jail. And I had turned around to a couple of them. What did you, what did you go to jail for? Um, I think it's like the first time you went to jail. Yeah, I think the second time. So it's always either violence or fraud, one or two. Anyway, so it's like, he, um, I come out and then I sat the man them down. No, it was when my mum died, sorry. But my mum died is when I first got the money for the music because I remember the funeral. Mm-hmm. Again, this is all going to be in the film, so I'm not going to go into it, but we get, you know, we. Yeah, you're raging my podcast, but I know it's mad. This is timing, it's timing, but I have to do this. Raging my podcast, mm-hmm. I have to do I, on, I, I, I have to come on this podcast and talk. I can't, <laughs> you know, like, but it's mad, it's just timing, but it's my brother in it, so we have to skim through it. But anyway, but make sure you watch the film. That's what, that's no, what no, no, like they, they're gonna watch the film. So, like, we raise some money for a company, but I end up meeting somebody who puts up that same money and also invests into my agency. Right. So, that's where I got the model agency from. Okay. So, he starts investing into the agency. But at the time, he's putting a lot of money into UK rap because we know UK rap doesn't work. So we're putting a lot of money into like We're putting M's into it. And um, he got a lot of the UK rappers and kind of just gassed them all up. That's, you know, a lot of the UK But I didn't want to link them. But I've just come out of jail, you know, and I've I've got this new flow because I looked at her, you know, I looked at the terrain and there's no one around that I want to sound like. And mm-hmm. that's what you're saying where the American twine mm-hmm. comes. So we still, had, we, still had the, we still had the American words mm. and the cadence. But really, I'm listening to like Bounty and Wood at that time. I was just about to, to say, who's mm-hmm. you feeling from at around that time? time so that time, it's like, all right, so when we go back to the K-Homes, where I say about I was rapping, I started rapping from LA Cool J, I'm bad. Simple. Okay, right. Yeah, cool that's where I started rapping from. <laughs> Come on. LA Cool J, I'm bad. I remember the week it dropped. Mm. So let's put it into context, what age group that is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So on my care home, on my wall, I used to buy hip hop connection every week, and I had posters. I used to cut the post because yeah. for some reason I never wanted, I never wanted, to, I never turned to a bounty for something. I find something like mm. I, I was still black. Always, I don't know. Mm. I was always like that. Like it was when I look back now, I don't think no one else would have done that because it, it didn't. Everything said you, that wouldn't be, but I was really proud still. Yeah, like mm. I rapped and all that. Like they wore my trainers. They yeah. they they followed my lead. They followed yeah. me and Kel. Like <laughs> me and Kel also pays up there. That mm-hmm. was always so it's like. I was prideful, so I could rap, I could do break dancing, I could do all of that. I was, so I could rap from when I was like 10. Mm. So by the time I come out to London, I'm into rap. Like I know people don't listen to rap. My brethren don't listen to it. I've come back to the estate. Rap's not what's happening. Mm. Like mm. a couple of Snoop Dogg's dropping and then you might know two Snoop. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like rap is mad. That's not what's happening. Yeah. Mm. You get me? But at the same time, I say, yo, but okay, but and then, would you and look into my eyes and... That's what I'm rapping over. Because mm-hmm. I need to catch that cadence. I need to catch the cadence that the man has listened to. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. So now I'm merging the two. So when I say I created that flow, I know I did. Because I did. Yeah. Mm. I created it. I signed a cell and created it. Mm. There was bits of other people that I liked, but it weren't what I was saying. Like Black Twang or Red P weren't what I was saying. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I like bits of it. But this is what I'm saying. Now everyone, until this people can do it, say whatever they like. Mm. But everyone remembers those three summers. If you was in UK rap for them three summers when Brazen Entertainment, you remember, you never heard nothing mm. or saw nothing like it. Like it. You mm. never saw the money like it, you never saw a flow like it, you never saw a look like it, nothing like it. You even like had it. hair. 
Of course, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even that, yeah. It glowed, you get yeah, me? Yeah, come yeah. on, come on. Throwing money around like fools, fam. Mm, mm. It was there, we done it. But anyway. I slept on my back, you know, last night because of the fibres. <laughs> I, I had my hair cut yesterday. <laughs> <Sure, laughs> no, I swear I had to take care of it. I couldn't even wipe my head today. But to get to where the whole kind of. Mm. But who the better argument is. Yeah. Mm. So then years, when the years started, me, no, but when the no years started, but, but it's cool. No. I'm fine with it. Like. I'm fine with it. I'm, 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 I'm fine with it. Land, let me land, let me land. That's what I'm saying. Don't let you land, but land. <laughs> me land. Just, mm. So as the years are kicking in, obviously my aim was for my type of rap. Because obviously there's what was that thing, who started road rap? I don't care about who started road rap. I know who started the cadence. Mm. Man started rap. gangster rap. Gangster. Man a gangster. Man, man a bad boy. Come on. And me are short Come on, on. No, I'm joking <laughs> Joking So like No but I'm joking So anyway It's like <laughs> <laughs> No I know Sorry I know. Sorry So like I know when that cadence Is getting put together But when the years start kicking in And people start coming I'm seeing who's coming But K-Cock said he started rap <laughs> Started gangster rap On your tune K-Cock No but them not were the first USG were like the first set of they man won. No not the first first But they were the first No bro They won the first set of man That we, I know That we, I need no, obviously we're, we're talking like gangster. When it comes to what the man, the man them were doing, we see, see what tell you, bro. I found him immediately as soon as, as, soon as I saw on the rise. Mm. That was something different. Like that. Was no, but even before on the rise, man, my man had, had not guilty out there, bro. That everyone was tamping. Well, I know when before I first started rise, linking, you know I mean? um, squinging them, it, it was, was a while. It was, it was, it was, it, was he was, yeah. he was putting in work for a hot minute. Mm. Like I will say that I had caught maybe slightly after that. But I heard them and they were they were from the early days. There's no yeah, they were there. from MySpace. Yeah. No, I remember, was, I remember hollering at them. Like we was hollering at each other on MySpace too. And there was a couple of man like they were around. Um, obviously, PDC came around, but SMS came around. So like, I don't think no one's got the the thing to say that they started. I can't even. Remember no, there's not really a start. Yeah. Listen, I'll just say when it came to the cadence of the flow, that was my concern. Mm. I know I sat in a cell that summer when no one didn't care about rap. Mm. That's all I can say. Yeah, you was rapping before so anyone cared. Like, as far as like the first of, the, uh, uh, of what came, as far as the gang thing and the rest of it, it all kind of came at once, if I'm honest. Because for me, remember, I'm the artist, so I'm watching what, I, like Jaja said something to me the other day. It's <laughs> Jaja cracks up with me. Big up Jaja, man. My yeah, big up Jaja, Jaja. come on. So like, we, we, when, when we recorded the tune with Coke, and that was a good day as well, I enjoyed mm. that. Kind of like, again, it's real memories. I remember yeah. making Coke and them from back mm. in the day. I remember doing dub plate drawing. Check that tune out, though. No. That tune's actually original. Check out. Good, good yeah. tune. And, you know, even the fact that he drawed for man, I respected that because a lot of people love to. Yeah. You know, and I respected that. But we used to, you know, we sat in the studio and Judge said something to me. Judge said, Ra, I remember the first time we went to your office, we walked in and you said, Ra. I'm so glad you lot are here. I've been rapping with bare nerds. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it was kind of like that. Yeah. If, I make, if that makes sense. So when everyone started coming, I was so glad. So when them lot come, I'm phoning man like, this is it. When I'm seeing USG, I need to, when I'm seeing PDC, link me. When I'm seeing SMS, I, so no, I was that guy. Does that make sense? I want to, this is what I wanted. This was the dream. So when it's all happening, it's like it's all at once. But as far as the standout rappers, mm. there's a few in the pack. Yeah, Madman's one of them. Come on, mm. Madman's definitely one of them. <laughs> like, on, bro, this guy's got he's he's cold. Get away, DV, DV. another one. Mm. Coke, another one. Mm. Coke. Um, but there was a few. But for me, being the artist I am, I'm enjoying the combat. Shaq, Shaq Cole, another on. one. We got Shaq. Like free I'm, Shaq. I'm, I'm loving the combat. Mm. Mm. So I'm drawing for everyone. I wanna, I I'm cool in my stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not even saying. I'm going on track saying, fam, I'm saying shit as clear as I can. 20 man, a couple of and a fucked up map that jams is not a gang. I don't mm. care what Colors me argue, you know? Colors, colors Come is hard. On. There was yeah, a few though. There's, there's names yeah, I'm missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. There's names I'm missing. There's names I'm missing. Even when, like like I said, even the RA come and all them not come down, there was a, a batch of artists that were good. But tree, I remember tree. RA and them to be like Graham fam. No, but he, he could spit as well. But then I remember even like Tree. No, I'm saying them time there. They was saying Smiley and There was a few of them though. There was a few of them that could, that could spit, but they, it all came as a batch. So when that's all coming, I'm there, but I had, I had my thing kind of pace. But as far as everything else, I just kind of just knew that how the business worked and a lot of it weren't going to fly, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, you knew you was on business, though. Yeah. That's one thing. You definitely had that um, down to a T. This bloody mixtapes, how did, how did that all start, man? So... You sold a hell of a lot of mixtapes out in these streets, you know? <sighs> Humbly. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gratefully. 
So like, I, I remember, so it, it was started with Dark and Cold. So I don't know if you remember Dark and Cold. Come on, man, that guy mad. Dark and Cold had um, really the most volume one and two. You get me? See, a lot of it, again, it's blueprints, isn't it? They was the first people to have a clothing company. Big up Dark and Cold, Big up Dark and Cold, my son's um, uncle. You gone mad, fam. Big up, is it? Yeah, Yeah, you gone mad. Junior, from the beginning. Come on, that's my son's uncle. They got a big part to play in this thing, blood. Big, and their story needs to be told. Big part. Sometimes when the story gets told in the UK industry, there's certain things which... Again, brazen attempt would be one of them. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't leave that dark, dark and cold because they helped so Cold. much, so much. Without so dark much and cold, more. the gram industry doesn't move the way it moves. Mm -hmm. The hip hop, early hip hop, hip -hop industry, the early Dead. ideas of clothing, and even all the artists that used to come, they all used to Dead. pass through you, there you, and take you, the pictures. Like, like yeah. Remember, remember, Clover. dark and cold was was supporting when Westwood weren't even supporting. Mm. I remember Westwood used to just play bare American. You know what's funny? Bare American. You know what's funny? Check this now. That's gonna rope in when. So when the first mixtape comes out, so basically, do you know what it was as well? I think in the early days as well, it's like anything, to, to be hum humble enough why mm. I think, you know, I still have a good relationships with, you know, a lot of the young, you know, Jamal's, the, the Rashid's. And I, I, I always say, like, Jamal said something to me. Jamal said, you know, you was the first video I had over a certain amount of it. You was the first person done what where to tear. So and I said this to you the other day, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the younger guys have been in the game long enough to know who's talking shit and who's not. Now, in the early days, it was also very similar. So, when people were doing what they was doing in the early days, people like Dark and Cold were looking at man saying, right, them lot, yeah, mm. they're putting their money where their mouth is. So, they would fuck with us on that level all the time. Mm. Try to do things, try to, because they've got, they've had a shop in West End for the last exactly. 20 years. Keeping a shop in West End at that time, you know, kind of mm. bill you're paying every week. Mm. Cool, so they've done this. So, they're looking at the man and I'm like, yo, we can fuck with you. So, I'm doing what I'm doing. So, when I, when I go to jail the f second time, I come out and then, um, I get they feel me from the moment I come out now this is when DVDs had just started being made mm. and no one had ever made a DVD before so Mike says right we're going to make a DVD and a, and a mix CD we're going to get Westwood to host it you can have Westwood or you can have an American one of the Cypher Sounds lot in the end we went for one of the Cypher Sounds lot guys didn't like the way Westwood treated most UK artists so like they produced this DVD. This was the first time a UK artist, a UK artist on any level, whether it was pop, anything, had produced a DVD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now they're like, and this was the turning point. Now they, they retail about, about 3,000 now. They say to me, don't give any away. I'm like, we, nah, you can't. Don't give none away. Trust me, I'm like, bro, I've got to give a few here and then. Just don't give any away. Just do that for two days and, come back to me I say alright cool he said the product's going to be so good that no matter who sees that product in your hand if they don't want to buy it they'd fuck them off mm. I said alright I'm going to listen to you for three days <clears throat> three days later I'm getting like three, three four grand mm. like, oh, cool yeah and that was off a DVD mm. DVD and a CD set up so it was the double we done a double a double thing <laughs> alright yeah. cool I get it yeah. now yeah Go yeah, again. Like that, yeah. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. So we're grinding. But now, so what happened was, this is when so this is when DVD manufacturing started to become like the norm. What well, started to become more accessible. So in the meantime, I'm always in West End. We've got an office, Street Dreams, we had an office in Hatton Gardens. Next to the next to the next to the Arsenal building. Grand. Like a big building, we had the whole floors and all that. And I used to have like run the agency from there. So every day I'm in Hatton Gardens and I used to walk down to West End and just kind of come back in. So I'm, I, used to, I used to see these guys outside West End every day. And it was two, well, two I used to see every day. One American guy called D21 and another guy called D Rule. Mm. <laughs> these guys, my brothers, love these guys all of my life. Every day they're out here. One of them was hustling blank CDs. I don't know. Like, oh my, we're like that. Cool, bro. We're out, like, they bring you in on so now I've looked at them and said like could you not do that with a more expensive product yeah alright cool but what it was is that one of them was just crazy enough to do this every day the other one was from America so he right. knew the hustle. hustle he knew the mixtape yeah. hustle he knew yeah. he brought it from America with him. my brother big up D2 one so, so they, they've got this little formula the guy that they're making their money every day and I don't think D's got a passport neither so yeah you ain't got a way of making money so this is what he's doing you mm. Mm. he might have no I don't know so anyway so fucking I'm like, what, could you not do this with my thing? Uh, yeah. So I said, like, boom, come to the office tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a meeting. 
And they, there was another guy that used to be with them called Daly. Big up Daly, Dread. And they all come, they sit down. You know Daly, don't you? You put, yeah, no, you, of course you do. So, like, they all sit in the office. And I'll never forget, I mean, I'll never forget the sentence. I said to them, listen, we worked out the, the reads, because then, at the time, no one would have been burning DVDs. Mm. No one, the, the burners were about a bag each at the time. So I said, okay, I'm going to buy, like, three, three burners, and this is what we're going to start doing. We done we done how much the manufacturer at the time the manufacturer pulled the contract a pound a CD. We sell them for five, you lot keep two, put a pound in the kitty, I'll take the rest. And I said to them, if this is successful, I promise you in the space of two years, newspapers, TV, did it will come. Promise you. You know the rest. So that is what happened in two years. But this is what we said in this room and came to. So like anyway, kind of story short. The first day comes I must have printed it. I think I printed up about 60. I put them on a the strip. I phoned a D, I phoned DT one like, yo. No, he phoned me back about 20 minutes later. Huh. Gone. Hmm. Yeah, what do you mean gone? They're gone. gone. West End. West End. Gone. 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 I need more. That's 60, that, mm-hmm. that's about 50. I just give like, mm-hmm. gone. In 20 minutes. Cool. Tomorrow. By the end of that week, I bought four burners. Of course you did. Four burners. We're running. It's, 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 it's. Running. Shut so now, but then it's about formulas after that. So now what starts to happen is, I know how I need to make this look. Let's have it right. So let's see this AIDA thing. Let's have it right. So this needs to look a certain fashion. So I need to go out there with them and stand up with them and give them that strength. So we're going to do that too. But guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to start putting some use around, man. So that's when you get the gaps and skins in them, man. There, boom. So we start outside now. So it looks the part. The youth's all safe. But no, tell like a couple of jumping a bit. The youth start coming out. No, I don't know. Something hit me earlier, but after that. So after my bridges start doing all that. So now, because my bridges ain't the youth. They, they were, they were, they, they were the older lot. They, they're the ones setting the formula. What starts to happen is kids start to come down on the strip, mm. like a couple of days in a row. Like, yo, can we grab some CDs and make some money? Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. So they went in too. So they keep on. So I'm realizing, hold on, I've got a formula to keep some use off the streets here. Cause I know they're coming down making a 50, 60 quid going home. Mm. All right, boom. We're gonna we're gonna split this. We're gonna have certain man, three, four kids with you, three, four kids with you, three, four kids with you. But the diet, but the but the the, the, the infrastructure for the kids is different to the to the older lot. The older lot's got infrastructure. You sell my thing, can do what you're doing, but sell my thing and kind of keep like a franchise. So the older yeah, ones kind of yeah, like franchise yeah, for the kids. Yeah. It's a bit different. So we, we roll people together, we put the system together. So that's what that's, so the kids start to come in. So now we've got a formula which keep the kids off the streets. And now we've got a formula which can also pay a grown man if he wants to really sell CDs. And now, we, now we're going to, it don't look like I eat it, neither. Because now we've got the youths out there. Mm-hmm. And now I've got a man out there. So now what I can do is put man around man. We don't really sell CDs, but sell five and just to make yourself 50 pounds for day. We're, we're going to go nuts. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying to you? It, all that thing. So we're gonna go nuts today. So we make, so we can move. Mm-hmm. So the unit can move everywhere. So in the, in the end, we've got a form. So say for instance, we wanna, we wanna go out of town. If we wanna go, if I wanna take 20 kids to nuts, I say I go halves on all you lot's hotels. Cause I already yeah. know if you if you sold 10, I already know I'm gonna have enough in my pocket out of what you just sold to go halves on your hotel. Yeah. I don't really care if you make me any money. Yeah. Just let's move cause I'm gonna make this money. So it, the formula turned into, I could go halves on everyone's expenses and they, I know if there was a quote that Time Out once quoted. Time Out magazine quoted mm-hmm. this in, the, in in Time Out. I used to say to the youths, "You'll make a little less than if you're selling hard food, and more than if you're selling weed." That was the quote, hmm. yeah. and that was what was guaranteed. So I knew if you saw it came out, you'd, you'd make yourself like yeah. anything from sixty to two hundred quid. Yeah. So then it just it, but it, it went into itself, you know, and after a while. And it, it gave me a platform to survive and stay the fuck away from everyone. Yeah, you sold That's hundreds of thousands. Do you know what? It's Allegedly, like, probably. Because I've seen, I've seen them, I've seen that actually number put in a magazine. I can't remember what magazine it was. We done. But they had you offer some hundreds right. of thousands. That's actually late. I, I, I survived off that, off whatever we was doing for all the time I wasn't around. What? Yeah. What? How did it come to an end, though? Mm. It's like anything. It's like mm. it's the reality of life, bro. It, when it, even when it was happening, it was your look. Do you know what the funny thing is? Everything's about learning. I always say to people, when I look at all the businesses I've, I've done, whether it was that, whether it was the agency, whether it was doing whatever, 
even like now, you know why that why I said, even when coming in, I said why yeah. I, I didn't want to do this because you know me, bro. I've had my head under the ground putting together real things. Look, look, look at what we spoke about yeah. just before I come in. Things I don't even want to tell the world because yeah. we know, bro. Like mm. there's, you know, when I look back at the businesses I've run, I always say I didn't know how to run businesses. I was hustling. I know how to keep things alive. Mm-hmm. Now I want to mm-hmm. run businesses. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So that's what came to it. I was hustling, but I'm good at it. But it wasn't a business. Cause if it was a business, because at the time, what, I'll tell you what did start to happen is when people, when, remember, this is before streaming. So at the time, the record labels are realising this is the formula. Yeah. So we was trying to legalise it. Even down to that scenario I told you the other day up in, 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 in the station and right to tear, that's mm. when we're trying to legalise it. So we're trying to legalise it. I've got lawyers, because what it was, England's got funny um, peddlers laws. Mm. Like you can't get blanket laws for like one council. You have to, it's, it's always separate. So we couldn't get one blanket law for it. So like we was trying to actually, you know, get lawyers onto it. Because I had people, I had you channel were asking for the service. I had some of the biggest distributors in the country. One, I mean, went to a meeting once. So I remember Bashi was at a meeting. Chipmunk, Chipmunk was there, I remember. Time Temple was there. And I remember I was in this meeting, I was with a distributor. And I remember he turned around and walked into the office and he said, you actually know the distributor actually, I don't because he complained about you one time. So, you know, complained about me. Yeah, my bad, bad, Oh, I would have to work with he's mad. But like, I walked to the office. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> the distributor's gone to me. Okay. You fucked up UK music. Mm. I said, what do you mean? He said, I bought a CD today for a pound. Mm. So until you came around, that wasn't the case. But he asked me, how do we do this? So I gave him my figures and my numbers. And he said, like, if we could we do that in one weekend so in other words he'd say how much would you make if you sent a team here mm. and I'd say that much mm. he'd say so what if we put it together where you could do that here in one weekend mm. and he told me the numbers for UK rap before that mm. it was Kalashnikov. Coffee it was atrocious like I was out selling UK rappers stupidly at that point mm. when I mean stupidly Kalashnikov done well though not what well, the numbers we was putting up at that time were unheard of bro mm. in UK rap like it wasn't all I wanted to do was what my aim at that point was to try to get you through the tills so you were changing the way how people was consumed, how they was... It, we, the numbers, the UK yeah. industry, music, urban numbers, they never... They never we, I was trying to work out how to get through the tills, though. That was yeah. the problem. How can yeah. I get this through the tills? Yeah. So I was even trying to come up with dark and cold, dark yeah. and cold work and yeah. get through the tills. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the problem. But the drill truth to why it crumbled is <laughs> little shits and little shits. And eventually, but when you find yourself running around with guns out and all that because people sell CDs, it's, all, it's, it's come to an end, is not it? Mm. You know, eventually when, you know for some reason whenever we see how to make money we always manipulate and believe we can do it ourselves rather than seeing what it actually is yeah. that's why you know and anyone would tell you that work with me they're still my friends to this day and I still tell them how important it was to my hustle and they know yeah. that right he was telling the truth he actually did mean what he said he actually was saying it was about us and not him yeah. and that's the problem any firm you come up with anything in this business everyone either thinks they can do it or they can do the same thing or we can do yeah. better than us, you know and that yeah. all, that's what happened to it but it's cool because I used to sit there and I used to tell them like listen if we don't turn this into a legitimate business, even if it, by now it could have been a record label, could have yeah. been anything, energy, like, you know, energy yeah. anything. I used yeah. to sit there and say, if we don't turn this into something, 10 years from now, I'm going to get the credit for it and everyone else is there, remember, remember the rest of you. And I used to tell them that. So that's kind of what I think happened. Um, that makes so, sense? Yeah, yeah. So what did you do after that? What did you put your effort into? Obviously you're still making music. Um, Letter to my girlfriend, that's my favourite tune. After that, it goes. It gets a bit pear shaped in the sense of end up in knots with mics, mm. <laughs> waiting for favors and all sorts. Free dizzle, man. Free dizzle, my brother. I spoke to him today. Big up slash. Love my brother. Come on, again. man. Oh my god, I'm getting mad. We're missing. Yeah, yeah missing, what happens man. after all that? I end up with slashing knots running around with them for about three years. Love my brother. Um, big up this one. Big up this. Big up all of my them, big up. And that living with mics and knots. <laughs> Wait for Fibers come back. But I kinda just kinda just you know what, I'll be honest with you, I went for a little period of I always have I went for a little period of not kind of just finding my way, still making music, but I think we go through that if we go for the early midlife crisis. See some people go through it in their forties, but mm. some of us will go through it in our thirties, man. Mm. Working out what we're gonna do next. So I think mm. I had that time where Is that when you look at that madness with game? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You know, what time to, to the question. <laughs> no, okay, you just said slashing it. I remember oh. crazy cold tea. My brother. Come on, son. Hey, 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 hey
Ain't no Yo, man, ain't man, no man, beef in no blood. Come on, man. What the fuck? Come on. Look. Y'all come y'all niggas here and down with 50 or so, man. Don't ask me down with this 50 beef. Yo, fam, I'm being a cool nigga right now, you know? Blood, you're in my town. You're in my town, I'm being a cool nigga right now. Yo, Big D. I'm being a cool nigga right now. Big D. I'm with that young man, and I'm being a cool nigga right now. Where are you all right? Yeah, I'm being a cool nigga right now. I'm being a cool nigga right now. I'm in the room. Tell them what I'm doing behind me. I'm not going to get a tape. Who the fuck come back to me? I'm going to get a tape. No, he's, he's, he's. Get a tape. I'm looking at my man. Come on, hey. Blood, get a tape. Get, get a tape. What? Nah, this nigga's talking about get the tape, blood. This nigga is. It's mama cobbler. No one ever coming for no beef, man. Hold up. Yo, yo, boss man. Yo, yo, boss man. Everything's cool. Hey, what's going on? Take what camera, blood. Take what camera, blood. You don't talk about it. No, 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 no. Don't, oi, oi. Listen, listen. No one ain't touching my face, B. I'm a shank here right now, put it in the man's neck. Come on, man. Now getting cool, blood. Yeah, game. Whatever, fuck. You know, I won't even blame him, though, if I'm honest. Do you know, I've never actually told anyone about that, I don't think. Do you know what it was? It was. It was. It was Alright. So I imagine. <laughs> I can't remember where we come from. We come from. Come from out of town somewhere. I was with was me, Grinch, Grinch. Dizzle, who yeah, was with it? Cracks. Young, yeah, some of a couple of other people, there. and we seen um, Gaines manager outside. I think them lot were buying C one trainers or something. I think so. Then we see managers, we see Gaines manager outside, but we was going back up to Knox that day. I think or back up to Brom. And them times, I'm just on my stubborn all the time. You know, what I mean? I'm just a hard faced ass all the time. But I remember I had my vest on, and I can't remember for what reason I always had my vest on, but I did have it on that time. So when we've, and I say that for a reason. Cause when we've seen the guy, everyone's kind of hugged him like, yo, that's my, like, that's the M, whatever his name was, games manager, the one that had the black wall chain. Mm. He's felt man's vest. As he's, if you see in the video, he's, so he's like, yeah. nah, it's cool. But from there he's, nah, you know what, you lot can't, can't come here, you lot can't get in here. But I'm telling them like, come we go, man, car, don't you want to go inside there? Mm. Inside like, where? Um, kiss of him. Okay, I thought it was the BBC. No, it was Kiss of Femme. So they basically they've seen him outside, so they've all kind of all kind of given him a pound outside, and he's talking about getting robbed and all that when he's felt the vest. Mm -hmm. But we say, nah, that's why if you go on the camera, we say, bro, no one's not here to rob you, bro. And then um, them not like, yeah, come, they want to link game, but you know me, I'm not on all that, so I'm like, nah, fuck all that, man. But anyway. They've ended up going in the building, but he's talking like we can't go in the building. But obviously at the time, it's my account, that's what I'm saying, right? You wanna go in the building? Mm. You don't wanna go in the building? Come and go in the building. So we go in the building. Mm. Game's up there. The you know what I mean? But again, I'm being miserable, man. I wanna just get the fuck out of it. But he keeps on saying stupid things, bro. Like, yo, I'm on the camera with them, man. I'm not gonna get robbed. I'm saying, bro, like, mm -hmm. shut up, man. That's what you see on the camera, like, bro, I ain't gonna rob you. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that. Like, Yo, I'm downstairs. But where I'm moving in a certain, like, obviously, this is when the man are just being normal and cracking two joke and the man ain't got the, you know, same insecurities I have. So I'm like, fuck this guy, I'm going downstairs. Because they're, they're, they're game saying dumb things, he's saying dumb things, not knowing this nigga's got bodies, but he's saying stupid things anyway. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I'm like, I go downstairs. They send a the man to follow me downstairs, though. This is what I didn't get. Mm. But now when I look back in hindsight, I guess if I was moving like me, <laughs> I would've would said I'm about to follow me as well, you get me? So <laughs> if you said to follow me, I've ended up downstairs. So as I've got down, but I'm going out of a gallon, at the gallon, at the time, the gallon was like arm fed, funny enough. You actually trained to be arm fed, she's arm fed now. <laughs> so, so we got downstairs and um, the guy is, yo, what up, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't believe this. Yeah. Now I just want to go to the car, you know? Mm. Yo, what up, nigga? What up, what up? I can't. <laughs> yeah, they started hyping still. Yeah, they started hyping still. I can't believe this is what I'm getting what up, nigga, now. So, what up, nigga? Yeah, yes, I'm getting what up, nigga, from the back. It's started hyping. But there's more of them, but remember, yeah, these, but these times now, I remember, I'm hearing, I'm thinking game is mad real. 
Mad real. You gone mad. No, but you I don't know, know about the, the tongue piercing. Or no, but what I don't know, but no, it's not, I'm not that. Come on, we're not listening. I'm not looking that game. I'm looking at Ram. I know he's with blackface, Gary. Nah, I know man, he's a certain he's New York. On, maybe he's, he's supposed to be a certain New York man at that forget time. Forget all of that, bloody dumb blind date yeah. or something. But anyway, <laughs> he's so anyway. dumb blind date, fam. But no, so, 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 do so that, when he's going downstairs, I'm, so I'm mad. When I'm going, when I mean I'm mad, I'm, I can't believe this. So I'm going mad now. But the, 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 the reality is now, I'm by myself. But I'm up for it, obviously. You, mm. you can see, you can see the thing. You know, I was up for it. But now them lot are upstairs. But I also, was, uh, that Zena gal was with was with Game, which I think he was fucking her to this day. The that was Zena, man. I think he was fucking her. I don't know, whatever. She was with Game, so obviously she knows the man. man. So she's from up there, innit? so obviously when she's seen Dizzle and Cracker and <laughs> she's thinking mad, mm. so she's making Game nervous now. Mm. Hey, yo, these niggas on job. She's Stop making games nervous yeah. now. So now, by the time games, ner- he's just moving nervous now. So, but what mm. it is, he's giving the SP in the lift. So when I'm going mad downstairs, so when you, so by the time the camera comes on, I'm already going mad. I've already been downstairs going mad. Mm. I'm pissed. So when Gabe's got out of the lift, that's why Gabe says he wants a camera back. So when he's got out of the lift, Zena must have told him whatever she's told him. He's gone to put his hand out. Like, yo, I'm hearing you are some real nick. I'm mad now with it. Like, so I've, you know the rest. Yeah. Me, 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 what? Dizzle! Damn! I can't! <laughs> I can't use the, It's on the tape. Fuck! Boom! But there's about 20 of them. Big black wall street. But, but, the, but the thing is, what's pissing me off is them man ain't feeling like I'm feeling. <laughs> Some bum are, them man are still on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, like, you can see, like, Dizzle don't switch, Grinch don't switch on until he's talking yeah, about camera. They're not on what I'm on. Yeah, they're going mad. I can't say that. See, yeah. I'm still being mad, Mike. I'm Grinch still being miserable, smiling. Mike. I'm still. It's Mike's fault again. Yeah. Like, to this day, Dizzle says it's your fault. It's your fault, though, blood. Yeah, Grinch went to link him still. <laughs> to this day, Grinch. It's your fault, though, blood. Like, it weren't my fault, blood. They followed me downstairs. I like, oh, to this day, you weren't with me. You got Grinch, though. You weren't with me, but to this day, it's my fault, innit? So they're not on my time, innit? So I'm guy, I'm me even more annoyed now because I'm, right, it's me and 10, but I've been here before. Cool. We've been, we know this one. Mm. <laughs> it might hurt a little bit, but we'll get out of this. <laughs> so, but I'm not back here. You, you've gone, you've gone mad. There's no way I'm stopping now. Mm, it's too late. They're helping out. What up? It's, all yeah. it's, all <laughs> it's <laughs> mental. It's all okay. Yeah, 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 that's what I said. They're helping out. What up? What up? Too man? mad. They no, were that's bad. pissing me off. You see me? I, yeah. I, I, yeah. They was on it though. No. <laughs> they was on it as well. No. They was on it but still. I, 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 I was on it. scared. I can't believe you made my heart jump. If you made my heart jump, I can't believe you made my heart jump. Because you're doing things I'm not sure of. Like, you're coming your going. They was on physical shit. I'm not sure. But they're waiting for the but they're not on it. They really remember, they know I got my vest. Yeah, they're half and half. They know all the time. Like they no, they're on physical one. shit. What up, what up, nigga? Like, yo, nigga. Like, they're loud but, and but mad. They're Jewish but to be fair, when they look well. back, yeah. Loud and madness. But to be fair, like I said, all the time, all this time, when I look back, they know I've got my vest on. So in their head, they're still a bit... Thinking that, yeah. Sam's local. You're prepared so, for Saturn. Yeah, Saturn's local. Saturn local. Yeah, yeah. Saturn's local. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but you get what I'm saying? That's yeah. what they're praying, mm. isn't it? Yeah, it's you get what I'm saying? Yeah, come on. So, like, anyway, long story short... And when I know it, I think they go oh, So local you Yankee, Yankee got it all played, but <laughs> it's always so local. My man, guy. So, I love my niggas. So like um he turns up well I said don't reactivate, but then when I'm not game's hand back, now he wants the camera. Cause mm. he's thinking this looks crazy. Yeah. Boom. But as soon as he said that, that's when Gucci just get activated. Like, what? Bro, he wants a fucking camera. That the blood. I'm looking at them thinking, bro, you're talking to them. Nah, nah, talking. Yeah. Not talking to him. He, he's saying good mud guys. things. <laughs> good guys. <laughs> he's saying mud things. So, uh, then they tried to rush me. That's annoyed me even more because the rush weren't good. It was it was buffooned. Mm. It, was <laughs> attempt, it was an attempt. It was an attempt. <laughs> though. It was an attempt. They tried. <laughs> now I know about them. them they, e, but attempt. then they've scattered. Car. Them lot of, now these are activated. So now yeah. we start throwing bottles at the car and gang. I know about them. E, they've attempt, gone. Maybe. But then if you check the video, yeah, we end up. We see us at all them hotels like with um, Lennox Lewis and all. That. You know why? Mm. Oh, we spent the rest of the evening going to every hotel in London, bro. Where every hotel man's phoning me saying, "Mike, <laughs> you're Ma- your Ma- Westwood's under pressure. Two seven nine. Can't believe I'm on his phone again. Like it's it was a mad night. Mm. It, trust me, it uh, t- took our man Shaq for, like took our man to say, "No, allow it." Cause man, we But yeah, that was that. Nah, he got game though, man. He yeah, do you know game. what though? He, do you know what? To be fair with you, 
Like he sorted himself out. I don't think he's the same guy for, with, nah. the tongue, with the tongue piercer. Do you I think know what? To, the, to be fair, out. man, seen a lot of American artists come. I think and go, he sorted yeah. himself out, and he tries to he tries to keep it. He he does try to keep it mm. moralistic. Do you know what I'm saying? But you're not fifth in it, so you can't move. He's not fifty, you man. Know? He's not fifty, but flip him. So what? What? At what point did the dub plate drama thing um, come into play? Yeah, that was big still, you know. So that was actually a big move. Mm. I don't know if I should believe you though. Do you remember one time we had a conversation? But did I not rate it? No, you said something mad. <laughs> what did you say? I'm here on my. I'm, 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 I'm there's a, a, a host in it. I've got to move like that plate drama was heavy, blood. No. So you don't think it was? <laughs> it was. No, he, no, he liked it. He just said, What did oh. he say one time? He said, Something to do with the heat. He said, Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember the road being like that. <laughs> no, but this, this was the truth. Like, the truth is, when I got that script, I'm looking at it and saying, Nah. Yeah, the, the roles weren't like, but I'm saying but it's like, a big like, move. But the concept of it, though, yeah, it's of like what it, it was, was the, I think, the biggest was problem good. I had with it was why would this adult give a fuck about these kids? That bus shiesty, you know. Yeah, yeah it, it was. I'll be honest with you, bro. I it was good and it was bad in a sense of the good was the experience. Big up shiesty, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big up shiesty, big up the money. The good, the good was the experience of it in a sense of like being in something of that magnitude and learning the game and also learning that that was the first time that I learned. Oh, he's a good actor. Thank you, bro. He's actually mm-hmm. a good actor, mm-hmm. but I'm going to lie. That was the first time I learned that, like, uh, that was the first time I learned that what I had in here mm-hmm. was viable. In other words, like on a bigger scale. So like, say for instance, doing stuff like the art, the comics, the film stuff. That was mm-hmm. the first time I saw that old one. Because there was, you know, man had more to do with the aesthetics of things than... And I, I learned a lot about myself in that process. The bad thing about it was, I do kind of think it, 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 it still stems, goes back to that kind of... <sighs> just the environment that I talk about a lot. Mm. But yeah, mm. that makes sense. Did you, who, who came up with the script? It was written. Did you have anything to so, do with it? Yeah. So basically, what what it was is the concept. It was, it was it was an original concept. It was the first time that that had ever been done. So you could phone up. It was the first interactive show. So okay. you could phone up and pick decide which way it was going to go. So there'd okay. be different scenarios at the end of each show. Yeah. You could phone up. So that was a concept which I think Luke come up with, and then um, which Luke begins. Luke Himes. Oh. Big up Luke Himes. Love Luke. All right, big begins though. Big up blood. That's a whole. Me and Russia was having that conversation. Begins. Without Biggins, there's so many UK artists that wouldn't have looked our thing when I looked at he done make it home for me. Rest in peace, that guy, man. More than rest in peace. I wanted to do something. I wanted to do an NFT. And I wanted his family, if if, if any of his family ever, ever sees this, I want some of them to reach out to me because I wanted to do um, NFT. He, he definitely deserves flowers. Do you know what I wanted to do? He made make it home for me. And I wanted to put make it home up as an NFT okay. and give a royalty to his family. I don't really know about NFT, but I'm acting like I do. Remember, I was asking you yeah. what the hell the metaverse so is the if, other day. <laughs> if, if any of his family is watching this, please shout at me. I'd love to do that. Yeah. Mm. But um, yeah, so when we wrote, um, when we wrote, when he, he, he wrote this, he kind of showed it showed it to man. So me and a couple of other, other, other guys, big up, Brad D, uh, who's in the EastEnders now, um, we had to rewrite little bits. And there was a lot of rewriting of things and making things make sense. And it was good for that learning process. And it was a good experience, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people bust in there. You, you even put Diz in there. Come on. Come Big on. nasty. No, but to be fair with you, Dizzle, Dizzle and them not in it because he was living he was never, never living with me at the time. Mm. So he was with me every day. So we're going to set every day with these brum youths. There's like 10 brum youths on set every day. I've got Dizzle and Rory shutting a gun. Imagine that to Adam Deacon. Mm. <laughs> Big nasty as well. Nasty was in it. Dappy was in it. Um, it was, but you know what? Funny enough, I'm, the weirdest thing is, I remember because I had a relationship with Darren at U Channel, and Darren, Darren used to be a bit annoyed. He used to say that it was all U Channel celebrities, mm. but it was MTV that was that was playing it, and he felt a bit robbed. Um. If that made sense, because mm-hmm. all the all the people that was in it were created by U Channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was MTV that big was. Big up Cat though. Big up Cat. Big up Cat. She big gave lots Kat, of people man. a break. Cat needs to come for her flowers soon as well. Definitely. Um, you got any favourite memories or good memories coming up in the, in, in the music industry in all, all the way through what's your best memories or triumphs or memories greatest memories and triumphs I was try, yeah I was going to say triumphs 
<clears throat> um, I think it's more realizations. Mm. I think it's more when you realize um, when you when, when you realize that you can do something that you might not be able to thought you could like, like maybe the CDs or. Yeah. Did you include? Um, uh, to, was a, no, I was going to say, would you include Dublin Jammer in one of the groups? Yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, I'll, definitely. Mm-hmm. I tell you, I tell you, one of I tell you one of the biggest tracks. Funny enough, I said this when we was, we was in the car. Um, the Heartless Crew video as a symbolic triumph. So, for instance, you dealt with a girl in my Yeah, so I'd be, I'd be running my agency for about at the agency. So when I first started, so basically when I first got my first situation in music, yeah. one of the one of the the deal was the sort of this guy set up um, Brazen Records. I was going out of a girl that was a model and she based you know the girl that the one we had a free somewhere back in the day oh gosh joking <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it know me and Mike being on stuff but I don't know, what, I don't know what you're talking about no, I'm joking I don't know I wasn't there I wasn't there so um, so like boom yeah, no, it's not. Stop about OG and beer madness. <laughs> oh my god, look! Mind the thing, it's gonna drop. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? Nah, but you get what I'm saying? Why would you do it's that? It's the Magnum fam. But I'm saying, you get what I'm saying? I'm forgetting it was a force. Alright, boom. Oh you know what I'm saying? Man really, man really live with other people out like they live anyway. So you know what I'm saying to you, boom. Mm. So when I first got that, when I first started the company, reason being, I was, the only reason I even had the agency so I was going out with this girl and she was the girl who had you know Tyrese the, the British girl who's got his baby yeah so after Tyrese mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. girl there lunatic Norma so anyway I'm going out with this girl brushed her up though mm. like, picked her out with green knitting tree yeah, yeah nah, you could do your team remember I know you yeah, remember, yeah. we, know what, we, we know what we're both on we know what we're, <laughs> we know what we're both on you get me Mike's a dirt man. Mike's an old man that's just happy to be. <clears throat> nah, but when we was young, yeah. when we was young, we had a great time. We yeah. had a great. That, I'm just saying. Happy to be a certain just saying, I'm just saying. Tree going out your face. Can't I'm complain. just saying. I'm just Keep saying. Moving. Before, before I had a new, I was in a relationship. Obviously, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, so anyway, so that this girl, she she had a, she was modelling for this this agent, and she ended up falling out of him. Stole his books and a lot of his contacts. I said she wants to start an agency. So I didn't yeah. really have much idea of starting an agency. And so my thing was, okay, boom, if I get if I put money into this agency, you run the agency, I run a record label. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> someone someone's remembering oh, shit. He's <laughs> I don't even like what you're talking oh, about. Oh, so now it kind of Hello, go, 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 go. No, 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 go on. That was a hard summer though. Hard. <laughs> Hard. 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 We end up breaking up. One of my friends fell in love with her, as they do. So she... As they do, as they, as they <laughs> fucking do. Yeah, she ended up running off to America, falling in love, I don't know what the fuck is. Anyway, she ended up with my man in America somewhere. So now I end up with this agency. So now I don't really want to run the agency, but I've got this investor. So he turns around and says, okay, boom. I've got a guy who knows how to run model agencies. Mm. I'm going to get him to I'm gonna get him to come away. Because basically, let me, let me put a bit of contents. When I first got my first record deal, well, not even a record deal when I first, I've never really had to do it. I had the money to put money into things. Um, put into context, so my mum's, when my mum passed away at the funeral, a couple of the big heads, Ray, Patrick, and all them, man, turned around and said, right, we'll give you some money to set up a label. Mm. Come to about 150. I met a man. Yeah. I met, yeah, yeah, yeah. Around, so, so I met a man who turned around and said, right, he owned a telesales company. And he turned around and said, listen, that was a guy who put, who, Skinny and all them in there, but he said, I'll give you that money, but over the space of a year, but I'm going to also invest into the agency that you wanted. And I, 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 I've gone to meet him in, in Old Street at the old office block. He said, And all this floor's yours, and those two members of staff are yours. You're ready to start tomorrow. Cool. So that's how I started the agency. So he's gone and employed these people who know what they were doing. But the thing is, these people knew the formula that rips people off. 
So you know, there used to be that model agency formula that rips people off, come mm-hmm. and get your portfolio and all the crap. Mm-hmm. They knew that formula, but I knew I was in the industry, because remember, there wasn't really an industry at the time. So we're looking at like Craig David times. So I knew there was something coming where these type of girls that I could bring to the game were going to get used. Because they wasn't getting, you know, there was only big agency that Storm Select and all that. So like, I've, um, I've, turned, I've turned around and said to her, okay, boom. I reckon I can get proper work. So if I can get proper work and do proper things, can we kind of use bits of that formula? So yeah, we can still do the photography, we can still supply the services. We're still not gonna cover, we're still not gonna cover everybody's, so in other words, the, 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 the normal model, model agency formula at the time was, you come to a model agency, they pay for all your shit, and you owe them thousands of pounds. So if you went to a storm or selected elite at the time, you go mm. to them, they do your portfolio, they do your Z cards, and you would be in debt to them. It's the same as a record label. You'd be mm. in the model with them be in debt to the agency for about 10 grand. And then the, the agency would take them back out of their first jobs. That was the old, the big agency formula. That didn't work. We, we ain't got the money to do that. Because even to put a model together at the time, even to shoot photographs at the time, this isn't digital, this is real photographs. Yeah. To do a Z cards, you're paying like three, four grand a model. So we ain't got that formula, I ain't got that money for that. And not only that, there was a snobbery in the business. So like, you know, they was quite happy with who they was using. No matter mm-hmm. who you put on the phones, I used to pay salespeople to sit on the phones, they're not using them. So then I realized this ain't gonna work. So I got the formula of, of the, the ripping people off formula, but not without the ripping people off. Mm-hmm. So you still cover your own shit. I've still got people that sell you these services, but I can actually get you work. Does this make sense? So mm-hmm. I'm busted, so I get people on the phones Finding work. So when you see them, you're coming to the office, mm. and you know, I, had, I had people. <laughs> go on, go on guy. man. Go uh, on. You see the time when my staff was supposed to be doing fucking work, and you're yeah. in there talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> them times. So we'd have one room where there would be fucking um, salespeople right next door, mm. and we'd have. So basically, the whole point of the, of the agency was providing um, sales. So then giving it a sales element as well as finding the work. So you get the two elements, you kind of bring them together. So you've got people that are out there finding the work. So we find, so then a lot of it was in extra stuff. So at the time I'm in like West End, I go get, you could get like, I get an office in like Old Street and then you'd get like extras from Erdang Academy and or a Pineapple Studios. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Pineapple. And you, you got your way to find theatre work, extras work. So the thing is, when I was running the agency, most of the gla- most of the best work was rare. So like the music videos and all that was rare. Mm-hmm. You're keeping it alive on the theatre work, the extras work, the appearances, the, like all that stuff. So that you had to always see. Sometimes when you come in the office, always someone on the phone. Mm-hmm. That's why they was always on the phone. That's why. So I used to I made sure if you implement that element to it, it can stay alive. So that's what I learned. You get that element, that element, bring it together. So at that point, so that's how the agency kind of worked. Mm-hmm. So when I go back to the triumph, the Heartless Crew video was a triumph because it, it was symbolic so in other words at that, at that time I'd had my build and I'd, I'd, I'd a bit company in Old Street for a few years and I'd been for a few trials and tribulations at that point my first investor got into some madness skinny I just posted that video as well the other day which yesterday was, or today was that the, oh, uh, that's yeah that's what I was saying mm-hmm. so my first investors ended up getting into a madness um, and I've kind of turned around to man and said and you know it's funny I learned something early just do the things you say you're going to do and you'll always leave with a business so Mm. you know where I'm coming from so mm. out of all the businesses the guy tried to invest into I was the only one that broke my back and made it work so in the end I've left with the files and all the rest of it so that's what top I've moved on I've got a little box office in Old Street and that's what so all this, and that's why I say like even through music the reason I never really rap very much because I never really rap very much mm. do you know what I'm saying to you like mm-hmm. I've always had businesses I've always been doing the model I've always had something doing whilst I've been in music I've never ever solely been an artist never because mm. I knew it never made sense Mm. Humbly, I just knew it never made sense, and I like to think now, as we sit here, knowing who's relevant and who's not relevant for my generation. Yeah. I like to think that it kind of made sense. So it makes sense. Kind of knew it, I knew it was going to rinse everyone out from early, so you, you had to have something going on. So the years I took away, I wanted to learn how to do this type of shit. And to be honest, with you, I enjoyed it. When you're sitting in West End every day running a business and you're meeting new people every day, new different types of people. One minute you've got models coming in from America, one minute you've got girls coming from Russia, next minute you've got some, you know, 82-year-old man who's done a film in 
bang the de- you're meeting so different array of people every day that you're learning that's what it, that's what it did so for years I, I kind of kept it together you know scraping it together doing bits of work here getting successes here but always keeping it together I used to say to people you know and I see a lot of people try to do stuff like that <coughs> over the years but having an agency isn't having 20 girls on an Instagram pages mm. you better make sure you can wake up at 9 in the morning you ever see mm. every time you come to the office man was there I like, yeah, come on, man. what happened in that come before? on man so uh, like, yeah. that was so my whole thing was just making it keeping it together so for all the years of keeping it together you know you get successes here don't worry I've done a lot of that. I've done I provided models for the Soul Solid videos I've done the Jamiroquais the Liberty X's the Beverly Knights all them early kind of mm-hmm. videos where you saw people and what was happening as well there were certain casting agents where they were taking the credit for my girls so they, was, they thought I was stupid which I didn't really mind at the time mm-hmm. so you had certain bigger casting agencies who would say oh you know can we get some of them girls I'd send the girls down they'd take the credit but I didn't care because the girls still got to work so I didn't even give a shit so there was a lot of that so in the early years most of the music videos that you saw a good percentage of them were my girls a lot of the mainstream videos like the Olivia Yetzer Jamiro Quires Beverly Nights all that so then when them years are scraped through when you scrape a fruit by the time we get to Heartless me and Bushkin pull off a move which I always love Bushkin for this save my life and I'll, I'm going to check you soon Bushkin I'll, I'll go something for you but like so got basically, Bush one. Yeah, got Bush come on. so basically, them times I'm running around with Heartless, you know, <laughs> enjoying life. Cause I remember, like I said, the rap didn't UK rap didn't exist. So I'm with the man, man. So I'm running at Heartless, finally enjoying a bit of time in this thing. Yeah. And they got the deal. Now I remember the weight of their deal, and I remember the budgets for videos. Like their deal was weighty. Mm. Yeah, he was, he was saying. saying he was saying <laughs> it. No, I know the mm. figures these times. Mm. Their deal was weighty. Mm. Like, nothing like it. Big deal, Way Yeah. So I'm like, so when they give me the, they tell me the video budget, I'm like, yeah? Say All right, no boom, more. Say, tell, tell, <laughs> say me, no more. This much, guys. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm just trying it. Yeah. Mm. 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 Bushkin's like, yeah, cool. Yeah? Yeah, Bushkin going into the X. I've told him like 180. <laughs> and I'm, we, we like, like, you see how much guys in that video? Mm. I'm saying, yeah, I said, tell them I can provide all of them. But I've been grafting for a minute, though. Mm. So my files are tick. And I've been living this life. Like, when they used to open my books, I remember Carson Asia used to open my books, be like, where do you find these girls? Clubland? The story's sicker than that, love. You know, like, I can't, even, I can't even tell her this, mm. but it's cool. <laughs> so, like, um, but after all, Bushkin, yeah, tell them you need that much of a high girl. He's like, yeah. You know, if they give out a check. I can cut you in, which I was supposed to cut me in, but I ended up going to jail. My bad. Mm-hmm. And you're like, yeah. So the number, I didn't go to the numbers, but the numbers were, so if you do the maths, 180 gal, mm. 250, yeah. you do the maths. Like, and what it was is, well, when models used to come to me, they used to, um, I used to do registrations. But I had two choices. So the good models. 450. <laughs> no, so the good models, <laughs> I would. <laughs> the good. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You come to one, you remember that you come to the casting? You remember that? You come to the casting one time, Did right? I come on the yeah, casting? Yeah, you come to one Did the casting one time. But you come at the end with Jay out at the end. Did I? Yeah. Oh. So like, but that's how I used to make money off the casting yeah. as well. Because some, if someone comes to me with a budget, it's a bit off track. Someone comes to me with a budget, say, even with the money, come to me with a budget, mm-hmm. say, yo, I've got £1,500. Mm-hmm. I want to spend a girl. I'd say, rather than spend it all on a girl, I'd organise a casting for you. And then we go from there. So like, so basically, with the, with the artist video, um, so we turn around and said, "Yeah, boom, we won." Tell them that figure, da da da. So he's told them, but they're not really taking man seriously. I know they're not. Like I just know them. I remember that time I was dating one of the, one model as well. You know, have you ever seen that realist video? Put your body into free mode. You're you man. You lots Bridget. Old school video. Really, so solid realist. Maybe I've seen it, but I just can't even remember. It's with Seth. I remember Seth. He was with him. But anyway, so I was dating on one of the models from there. So I remember she'd been getting bare work cleaning up. So I kind of had a relationship with the people that was the production company with Andy. Mm-hmm. He was the producer. And he'd done a few of the Soul Solid ones. He'd done, um, I think he'd done, Andy do Soul Solid. I think he'd done the other one in the car. With Roman in the car. So they phoned me like, yeah. Bushkin said, but I can hear the woman's voice. She won't take it seriously. Like Bushkin said that you can provide all the girls. But what I know what they're really saying is we're going to try we're going to try our artist mate and then we're going to go to the real companies cool so they phoned me with that kind of attitude in their voice I'm like alright cool 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 
But I know I've been grafting. Like, I know I've been grafting. I know my books is thick. I've been running ads. And that was a, the way I used to make the money at the agencies where I used to run ads. So I'd run ads in, like, the metros, newspapers, because you want a high volume of people. The thing about agencies is volume. That's why the phones were always ringing when you came in. Mm. It's about volume. You have to have volume to keep these alive. So I knew I had the volume. And the way I used to do registrations is that if the models were good and I knew they were going to get me work, I wouldn't take registration. Mm. If I knew they wasn't going to really get me work but you wanted to be around... All right, you're going to have to do your registration if you still want the phone calls because I've got to pay my staff to sit on the phone. So cool. There was an, but it wasn't an R state. It was like a, about 60, 70 quid or something. Mm. But anyway, the fact is all these girls <laughs> owed me registration. I knew that. And then we had dancers that I got in. So I knew that near enough everything on this set was coming back. So when they phoned me and said, yeah, we want X amount of girls, in their voice I can hear that they don't think this is going to, this order is not going to get made. So then they phoned me back. I know, I phoned them back later, like, yeah, check. Mm-hmm. Would you, yeah, 180 confirmed. No, I think the first day was 60. <laughs> I think the, first day was, the first day was like 60 something, and the second day was like 100 something. Something like that, it was numbers of spit, but it was a total mm. number. So yeah, confirmed. I've got, I can bring through like a certain amount of photographs now. Boom, boom, boom. It's like, it's like that thing, it's like where they say, what is luck when preparation and time and meet? So, mm-hmm. you know, so, I think, mm-hmm. so I said, yeah, I can bring through pictures now. Da, 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 da. And then, um, I come through to the office. You're thinking you got your cousins, you got everyone in there. No, no, that's <laughs> everything. No, they're they're thinking, thinking, no, they're thinking no, you got no, everyone no, in no, there. No, to show people pictures, you have to have had their yeah, their, no, their cards. Mate, no, they're yeah. no, they can't because at that time you can't get in the game like that. Mm. You have to have modeling cards. So if I'm showing you pictures of a model, yeah. you have to have a modeling card. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to you? So they've all got this because the yeah. way my setup was set up, you, you're either coming with this. So if I'm paying for it, you're paying me back. Like I've got mm. my setup, mm. so that yeah. setup's been set up for a little minute now. Mm. For about I have to have your property. Yeah, so my thing's been so it's been moving. But now this is the bubbler. So this is the one that's bubbled to this point. So now, yeah, done. But what it was, the production company is one of the biggest production companies. So when they've seen this, like, hey, bro, after that job, see, after the heart of the screw job, I never had to send a girl to another cast ever again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of, and I'm not going to jail not too long after. But I do kind of think if I didn't go to jail not too long after that, the company would have been something else. Because they that, keep going to jail, bro. Why? Because like, I'm a dickhead and I left. I, I get violent for no reason. I say stupid things or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know. So what made you revert back to your, your earliest talent? What made you fight that off and go back to drawing? Because mm. you clearly know you're a man of, do you know what's a lot of talents. It's like the conversation me and you always have about. You know, I always tell this guy, he's one, he's way more talented than, I don't know whether he thinks he is, I think he, he knows he is, but I think like, I always say talent is a reflection of a character more than it's a specific thing. You're talented. Mm-hmm. For instance, why I knew Cream would like the title. It's a spirit, it's a soul, and it? it's art, it's creativity. Yeah, I forgot the um, main subject today. Life yeah. is art. Life is art. Life is yeah. art. It's, it, it's talents a reflection of a character. Mm. They're not a specific thing. Mm. That makes sense. So in them care homes, I was doing anything to express myself. Mm. Whether it's music, drawing. And the funny thing with drawing, I learned how to draw by accident. Me and Kello used to draw. We used mm. to sit in class. And I could draw because I just wanted to spend my dad could draw. So I used to copy my dad a little bit. But yeah, I remember I used to see you drawing, and I used to be like, my brother can do that. <laughs> you, know, you know I was going to say this, so I'll get to that little bit. <laughs> Basically, one of the things he said to me about his brother pissed me off so much that I said, you know what, that's not going to happen again. I'm going to get better. But like, it was like a thing where I could always draw, but then what happened was, it was like doing sport or athletic. You get dedicated, like you focus and you zone in. So when I was like eight, I'd draw, but in my care home, there were these two artists. See, the thing about the care home, the thing about that care homes which are different is that even though the environment's quite rough, mm-hmm. the people give a fuck. Yeah. That makes sense? And it, that's what's quite unique about it. The people actually care about the people. Like, so your, your, your tutor would be your math teacher who would be your care worker. Like you're with these people, you live with them. So they actually kind of give a fuck about you. Mm-hmm. So one of, two of our teachers was a guy called, one of them was Jerry Blood and one was a guy called Dave Turner who probably passed now. And one of them was a famous artist. And what it was, is at the time as well, they you could see that these places were kind of like experimenting. Does this make sense? So like, you know, some rich people owned some land, they'd cut some deals with some councils. Mm-hmm. We've got to make this work. So a lot of these teachers were doubling up. So they were quite normal people. It makes sense. So they were, so there was normal, it was quite normal. So the art teachers, I knew, when I look back now, I know we're friends of the, 
the owner of the school because mm. wealthy people because you wouldn't get that caliber of art teacher in this day and age right yeah does that make sense yeah. this is a world yeah. famous artist mm -hmm. this is a guy like, if you look at the tour de france painting the oil painting where they all come out mm -hmm. he painted that if you look at the olympic rings one of the he painted that there's also okay. a, the one of the national one of the the national paintings for nottingham for for, for um for nottingham he's a, he was and the other guy was a guy called dave turner who was also a very thing mm. and they took a liking to this little black kid that could draw and they taught me everything they taught me how to use paints charcoals ink they taught me everything but we don't know what it is at the time you just learn as you're kidding it but they were kind of fascinated that he was that good so obviously i'd, I'd always kind of just draw it as an expression so obviously coming down to when i moved to london it was like but i just used to use the art to just get for education that's all i used to use it for like i got kicked out of every college i ever went to but i passed everything that's the maddest i remember getting kicked out of fucking my GCSE, I had a fight in my GCSE art exam. Got kicked out, done one day, got expelled from school, still got a B. Hmm. It's supposed to be a two day exam. So I used, to, I used to use art just to get through college or like do nothing in college and still got a distinction to the point where my teachers, I remember, I'll never forget this, I'd done one year in college. I didn't, obviously, we're not going to class, we're not doing all of that, but the work was so good by the end of the year that I actually remember the teachers arguing with each other like, we can't pass him, he hasn't got no research. Yes, but look at it, it's well, better than everyone else's. You know what I mean? So like, mm. art was always like, something I could do very well, well yeah. with little effort. So I used to use it, but then, so going through, going through college, going through being in London, never used to really care. Mm. Obviously being in London again, never cared, never cared, never cared. Music, never cared, never cared. When I ever got, whenever I got, need it. whenever I got into trouble, Whenever I get into trouble, go to prison. Even if I got kicked out, cut, I'd end up. I'd find some time to draw, especially in prison. Especially mm. in prison, I love drawing in prison, and all the all the concepts that I come because the, the way it would run through time, you know already. Yeah. Like you draw, I could run my days down. My ball by the end of my Senate, like I was giving like big up look, big big up <laughs> Z and the Monday. You get me with them? <laughs> yeah, used to, I used to give pictures away. Man, I come into my cell, getting caught. Yo, Mike, Mike, so I can have that one. Like, mm. I used to just draw. So all these concepts of these comics, it's killing my time. Mm. And I'm learning. I'd rather sit in jail and learn than not learn. Do you know what I'm saying to you? So that's what kept the drawing alive over the years, getting in trouble. And then the final kind of straw was when that thing happened that I told you about with Dunny, where we got Nick for the WAP in West. Okay. So when that's happened, that's not in the film anyway, so we can kind of talk about that, I guess. Mm. So when that's happened, so basically we've all gone, something's happened. Everyone's got Nick for this WAP. So we've gone West End, so I don't know, to this day, I still think that my team kind of looked too weird, bro. I don't know why Trident's flying on, down on man in the middle of West End, out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Crazy, hear me? Then when they come, we all get nicked. Danny ends up doing a five for this WAP. I end up fucking off up to knots because I knew if fibers were coming back, I'm not coming back. So I start drawing again. Mm. I was moving to Mike's, me and Mike's by two yards. We got this, <laughs> Mike's had these, big up again, big up the slush, big up all the money. Mike's had these two yards in um, Long Eaton. Beautiful yards. And he bought two of them or some gypsies, but we had like a cashback. We actually bought the own them. And I, we bought them and I just went up there, bought bare equipment, bought bare art, and said, I'm going to teach myself how to do all the shit again. Mike said, the man thought I was going to imagine So I said, this was the first guy bad. Mm. Start drawing. Because they, but what it was, I said to myself, I want to see if I could be as good as I would have been if I didn't stop. Mm. That was what it was. Mm. That was the drive. The same way anything that you're going to do, you're going to have that same drive to say, you know what, I'm going to do this to this entirety. Does that make sense? Mm. So that's what really got man back into the drawing was, I want to see how good I can really be. Like, there's no point. Mm. And that was what it was. So the next, so after that, up until now, <laughs> has been relearning, reteaching. And just mm. going on that journey of really, there's one, uh, what I will say, what I, I remember when I got to about, when I got to about, do you remember the times we used to sit in the office and have them talks? And I'd always be like, to turn around and be start talking about, you know, I, I ain't fucking with this person, I'm, I'm off over here. Mm -hmm. And about them times is when I kind of said to myself, after Tal during the Talisa case, just after the Talisa case. I was going to get into that <coughs> Talisa case quickly. 
my bike so you're gonna die I just sent you something just in case it died okay cool. fly around oh, cool so around about them times that's when I really said okay I want to do this because during the, during that case I realised this thing's about product this thing's about creativity fame doesn't work fame's a, a, a fame is a forever ending burning candle that doesn't work mm. well done when you're running up and down with the most famous person in, in Europe at the time and you realise what this is mm. I said, I need product. Mm. So I'm going to fall back from everything and I'm going to reach inside myself and draw out the highest level of creativity I can. And that was in everything, art, music, business, everything. So even at that period of time is when people start getting all the spoken word stuff, the stuff that's basically kept man alive, mm. all the behind bars material, that's where all that comes from. Well, I'm just saying, I'm, like, I'm not even going to rap if I use the word me too much. I don't want to even rap about me no more. So if okay. I even you, so I'm going to go inside myself and pull out the highest level of creativity I can, mm. whether that's art, whether that's music, and that was what it was. So that's mm. where the music, that's where the art kind of kicked back in, mm. if that makes sense. Mm. And if people give a fuck about me after I've finished this process, fine. If they don't, fine. Mm. That was the one. That was that was the full process. Mm. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, makes sense. To lease this situation, mm-hmm. that's it. Don't, don't, don't overkill her, man. That's my budget, man. Come on, blood. Man will never hate to you. That's the reality. But I yeah. understand what it is. You know what it is? It's the weak and the strong girl. But how the hell, what happened there? Because you went guilty and still ended up Again, being on a lot of that's going to be in the film at the end of it. <laughs> so, okay. You want me to say fuck your film? You <laughs> Go on, say, say it No, because no, you just but keep telling me about your you're film. You're in it, so what do you want to say? Fuck it? No, just me, in? but all right. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 now, but, big up Rashid, because you, you, you're, yeah, you're saving him, anyway. That's my brother. Ages. So, um, that was, no, but the, 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 the Edo and Endo of that is, well, people saw most of it play out. People saw most of it play out, man. Like, yep. no. But what made you? Why did you even go? Why see when? What made you even go to my man? My dad said, "My man, we're wrong." No, but see, see when? Let me tell you. No, 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 no. No, can I just say one thing? Can I just say one thing? Lucky. See the second. See the second. My man said, "Is that the cocaine?" I would have punched him, picked it up, and ran off. No, bro. I would have punched him in his face. Man said, "Cocaine, fam." See cocaine. See because you said cocaine. See just because you. See just because you said cocaine. Is that the cocaine? I was just saying. What? I'm all gonna boot off his face. I would have said, I'm gonna boot off his face. I said, What cold? Who the fuck you talking about? I would have picked up the sugar. I would have picked up the sugar. I picked back up the sugar. <laughs> boot him in his face and run out, run out of the hotel. No, but you gotta see I'd have run time, out of the hotel. The man said, Is that the cocaine? At the time, yeah. What's the what? Why didn't it? The alarm bells, that, is that the cocaine, mate? <laughs> At the time, is that the what? Listen, listen, listen. Is listen. that the No, but you know what, though? I'll be honest. Is that the what? No, but I didn't forget to keep me. It was yeah, but you know, like, as soon as you... Is that the cocaine, mate? Huh? So did you get any six... Did you have any certain feelings or anything no. like that? Is that the who? And I'll tell you what. No, it's just that. Is that the cocaine? You what, mate? Right. There's words you don't say in yeah, crime. Yeah. You know that? Like, yeah, you know don't really. say heroin. Yeah. You don't say cocaine. You, you don't <laughs> say cocaine. Is that the cocaine? Like, you know that man said, like, the full is that a bit? So you didn't even say, is that the, yeah. like, is that the cocaine? Like, you're you definitely me, filming like, me. Yeah, you're, I'm on. kicking in your face. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm, I'm, kicking, leader, right, so I'm me, kicking your the, face. I'm running out of there. This is the content. The content. I'm picking up my sugar. Nice sugar, mate. But I'm wet. I'm <laughs> kicking off your face and I'm gone. I'm out. You get what I'm saying? I'm out. I'm phoning T. I'm saying T, you've gone mad. Everyone's gone mad. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gone mad. Like, uh, I went to bring uh, a man uh, sugar. I went to bring a man sugar. The man said he's got tea. The man said he's got tea that needs sugar. <laughs> that was oh, so, so funny. Listen, listen, no, listen, 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 no listen. but it's true. Why are you spelling out the words? No, but like I, do, I never, I never even heard it. I, didn't, I, can't, what? I can't even think. Well, no, 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 for you. What? Did you say? <laughs> Did you just say recently? I didn't even know. No, no, not recently. Like the day I remember <laughs> when it came out. No, it check, not working. check it, check it. You had to like, you had to like, everyone was around them times. That's number one. Like, you was around on them times. But it will happen. It will happen now. But, but the man check, no, but remember, 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 is remember. Is that the cocaine? <coughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Fam, did you just say cocaine? That's sugar, mate. Where's the other one? The other like that works. Um, oh, you've got something in the bag, man. Oh, oh, that there one. it is. There it is. Oh, I'm getting mad. Yeah. So like, no, what it was, yeah. If I'm honest. What were we thinking? It wasn't cocaine, it was sugar. <coughs> but I'm yeah. saying, why did he ask that? You should have bombed him. <coughs> I never heard of Mark say I never really care. I wasn't even listening to Mark. I was just wanting to pee. 
No, I was getting there. Like, you were in the P, No, it weren't. The P was just a quick one. No, I was like, on Monday. Like, That's what I'm saying. The P no, it was a quick spending one. money. It was a quick one. It was spending it was in, it was money. The God, really, truly, if I could have the ticket for him. And let's not say where the food comes from. Like, cut out. Let's just stand <laughs> There's no food, fam. It's sugar. Uh, well, yeah, sugar. Cut. You know what I'm saying? You know who's in the car with me? Like, the bonding. Like, the man that's doing that stuff. Shit, the bonding. Cut out. Stop it. Is that the cold game? What, what, what? See that? You know when they come back in the papers? The, 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 the papers. You know the worst thing? When they come back in the papers, they come back rare, tear, tear. I'm folding the man like, yo, it's a good... I forget all of that. But I just want to know, how did you go guilty and still end up not going to the bin, the big ass? Well, that's, that's what's going to be That's what's going to be in the film. Yeah, the film. The, the film again. That is going to be something which... <laughs> the film has, again, you get what I'm saying? No, but check it, like, check it. That hasn't, that's never that's been explained, yeah? <laughs> But that is actually puts man in the archibald. Yeah. That puts man as a case study. That's what enough people don't know. Like, man's mm. a case study. Like, what it's happened to man has never happened in any of the history. That's how you know T owes weight. No, it's nothing to do with it. Fuck all to do with T. That's the reality. And that's what you're going to find out in the film. Fuck mm. all. She tried to throw man under the bus, but that's... Quickly! Because she's thinking, you're a madman. <laughs> T's thinking, why didn't you clock? <laughs> no, that's not what she's thinking. There's a truth behind it. All. But like, I get the early part of it is, yeah, is my man had prepped her for so long that they're mates. Like so many, see, they've been in Vegas together. Like they've he he done the thing. You know, mm. He done what he was supposed to do. Now it's entrapment, though, as well. Yeah, but this is the only country that it's not illegal. Yeah, it's that's illegal in America. Yeah. That would be illegal okay. in America. Of course it is. But like, to be fair, with you like you said, it's our own fault. But uh, but definitely. But for not kicking him in the face or running out of there. Nah, that's not why it's man's fault. Fam, the the reason it's man's fault <sighs> is the, the overall play, like the long play, not seeing the long play. Cause remember, I'm with T at the time and we got aspirations and dreams. Like, put it into contents. This is in the film, but I was writing a film in it. So I was writing a remake to Oliver Twist called Ollie. Mm. Remember them time there we were doing the, um, that Lucinda girls around. So we're doing this remake. To this, I'm writing this remake to this Ollie film. Now, T's agreed to play Nancy so we can pitch it to get the money. Like, we're trying to pitch it for, like, a good two-point mil just to start with. That's what she was trying to pitch it. So, so bro, is your iPhone charger in there? Yeah, you want it? Yeah, So we're trying to... Remind me that you got it all. So we're trying to um, pitch this film. Mm-hmm. So she's agreed to play Nancy so we can pitch it. Now, he's telling T that he wants to um, he wants to put her in a film um, with Leonardo DiCaprio and he's a producer from Bollywood and blah, blah, blah. So she... And he's took her out to Vegas. So she's believing that. Remember, she's just finishing the X Factor as well. Now, at the time... I was flying like, them time. Yeah, at the time, we were all in our own space. Mm-hmm. Big up Mish as well. Yeah, come on, big up Mish. So you, she just so, got... I think she got married, you know? So you, you remember them times there? I'm with, yeah, T, yeah. I'm with T every day. We're in mm-hmm. our own space. We're flying. T don't give a fuck about nobody. I don't give a fuck about nobody. We're good. We've got this big yard in, in over over Odessa that we're, that we're at every day. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We're doing our Was you lot seeing each other? No, no, no. Oh, OK. So, like... So, like... We, 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 we're good mm-hmm. so we're, we're, we're doing all this stuff together and I'm kind of she's with Danny at the time in it so we're making sure Danny's good Danny my, my dog you and get um, me at the time also I've got I've got Jordan and them running around I'm setting up a security firm right so right. I'm supplying security to certain people as well so there's a few <coughs> we're doing a lot of things together basically in a nutshell you know what it was why I kind of had love for her mm. up, up until that time because in the early days when Endo's first dropped there was a like I look at it like this in the game there's a lot of people and like we could we could go all day about who owes man what and where to tear but you see I'm one of the few people that my hand was always out, bro. Yeah. And there's no one, like I said, I can sit here and tell you about when I link Jaja, I link this man, and my hand, I've always had my hand out. I've never been a man that's put here to tell you. First time I linked mm-hmm. Spring, my Bridget, boom. So there's a lot of people I've had my hand out for and they seem to forgot. Mm. Like, oh, that's mad, you forgot. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to end dubs, I look at that Duffy, so like, oh, you're, um, especially him sometimes, mm. like, whatever, cool. But her, she when she was at the peak of what she was doing, she picked up after the, the videotape, she picked up the phone, like, Mike, come in, but there's a time when, you know, we all do this fake, everyone does the fake tough guy shit, but I know, I don't do a hundred people, bro. Mama tell you, I do, <laughs> I do logistics. <laughs> I'm, I'm logistical. Come on, man, no, mate, I do logistics, mm. so I do gangs. So, when man do logistics, me and Diz were doing logistics mm. <laughs> all day. Me and Diz were doing content logistics. Mm. <laughs> Regular. <laughs> so, some people remember, some people don't. So, like, she, after, when, when all that's gone, and she can see what the world is when she's at her peak and she can see what the world is, she's phoning my phone like, mate, you're the only one that was ever real. So, this is what's on. Yeah, come out of me tonight. You're going to want to show you what's cracking up. Take all this out. <laughs> that's what we got. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boom, we got first night, middle of newspapers everywhere. Right, this is what we're doing. 
It's like this all the time, Mike. Mm. This that's is what That's like because they thought you were dealing with her, innit? No. So they, took, they took two pictures. They took yeah, a yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, but them times black guy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So them times shoot, but black I'm, guy. I'm seeing how this works now. So now we're doing the okay life. Now we're doing hello, like every time we're going. This is before the the, the drug deal. He's loving yeah. it though, slightly. Bro. I'm seeing how it's working now, but now mm. I'm seeing how we turn it into money because this is what she's teaching me. How we mm. turn this thing into this is what how it works. Write this film. Do 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 do. do. So I'm I'm in the motion. So I'm in I'm I'm in the. Oh, shit, freak fucking I'm I'm in the. I'm in the motion of this. Right, this is how this thing works now. Okay, let's get this money kind of. So that's how I'm kind of playing the whole game. He tell you, he was around them times. We're the widow every day. We're bringing her around. She's doing what she's doing. So the whole thing was, a, it was a long play. She wants to say fuck. Fuck X Factor. She wants to go and do her thing. Because T is really than people think she is. <coughs> how much I give her in a sense of like, even though it is what it is now, <coughs> she's really than people think she is. Mm. Like she's harder than people think she is. Mm. Like she's very convicted. Does that make sense? So she really wants to say fuck X Factor and all that at the time and do her own thing. Mm. Like, that's what I used to like about her at the time. Like Rather than go and give her an award, she'd rather be with a man them in a pub mm. playing two pool. You know, like that. Mm. Like, she was like that. And I used to like that. So we could, I could kind of fuck with that. Mm. It was my kind of, this is the A-list celebrity I like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I could fuck with this. So that was what, what it was. So we was doing, a, a lot was getting done. So it's like, when we're going for the long play, the long players, we're planning to go Miami. Remember, I do remember the weekend before that, took me out for my birthday. She's gone. And she, brought, she shut down the club for nah, me. You, you just got around me, man. You like, you... Yeah, let's not go into all that. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> 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 you know, we're watching this weekend. Mm. Tell her, watch <laughs> but man watching this know that them two are mad. And man watching this, man, are so grown that man don't give a fuck. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, boom. Um, where, was, where, where was I? The, um, the, your party she threw yeah mm-hmm. so she threw the party so after that I'm, and I never forget so I remember she's sitting in her house but I never forget this she used to have a yard a room that the dog used to shut up but we was on the top of her house I never forget tears in her eyes saying Mike you're the only one who gave a fuck next week we move to LA that film that you've written we're going to get that money I'm going to do this film we're going to be M's up we're out we're going to Marbella next week it's like, mm-hmm. that's like a symbol mm-hmm. of go Marbs like my I didn't I used to, I used to have this joke with Amanda <laughs> but I used to say, I never took a holiday snap. My thing came back in, in okay. Mm. You get me? My holiday snaps were okay magazine. So I'm mm. thinking, we're off. Remember that week I came back, I was feeling mm-hmm. myself. You get me? Cairo and... Oh, yeah, do you know what? Yeah, you can't That was a good, that was a good, good deal. Man, save my life that day, man. Couldn't find no weed on that island. Mm. So big like, up Spider. Big up cousin. Spider. Big up Spider. Big up the money. We had a good, we had a good week, a couple of days, man. So like, I'm about to shut down champagne spray. I'm about to tell you about this. Mm. I told you that. But end up boning out. But I shut down champagne spray for her. So anyway, yeah, if anyone was there that year and they think I'm lying, you remember that year? Everyone, <laughs> champagne spray finished after Mike went mud. So, mm. we... Marv was there. Is it? Yeah, the good when I Marv, yeah. yeah but was Marv there? Obviously. Mm. Was he with us though? Nah, but he had Marv's lot them time there still. So. Yeah, Marv was out there, I think. But I remember they didn't want to let me to the clubs on that night. The police had to shoot me. <laughs> he's going to shoot me that night, bro. So they got three T saving. She's like, they're gonna shoot you, you know. So like, um, but yeah, we just believed the whole thing at the time, bro. We just like, I just believed this girl. This was the dream. This was it. So when he's so basically how he's pulled that off, he's um, he's had her on a long place. He's took her to LA. He's done a madness. He's made her really believe this. Like we actually believe this is happening. So like, by. <laughs> So when he's phoned her, so we're going mobs, we're going mobs on a Monday, he's phoned her on something like, yo, I need some, I need some, I need some bits so I can, so, so I can stay in the country. If not, I'm going to leave to go Amsterdam or some shit like that. Now we need him to stay because we believe he was going to sign paperwork. Mm-hmm. And that paperwork we need to be signed because we believe if he signs that paper, it's going to release some money. And it's like an M. Mm-hmm. So T needs him to stay. So T's phoning me with that in mind. Like, can you please get him something because if he leaves, he won't sign that paperwork. Right. But he knows what he's doing, which we now know, which we now know. So she's like, can you just go through and... But at the time we're working, isn't it? Mm. So man don't have tickets like that, not to fuck up the flow like that. You know? mm. So that's why we have that. So that's how that ended up. Now, big up T though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big up. That's my phone. I need, to do, I need to run you through the fire round. Man, he's killing it. Mike don't even want to do the fire round, you know, he's such a madman. <laughs> so, I don't even want to do the fire round. Tupac or Biggie? 
Interesting. No, it's different things, different moments. Yeah, like, I know. Two packers are you. See what you need, I was watching this. You need a shots or something, bro. Cause you ain't got no mid. You ain't got no in between. Yeah, but, no, but, no, but you could, you could, yeah, no, you could do your in between if you uh, want. But it has to be different reasons. Pack for the pack, pack for belief. Big for skill set. <clears throat> Cause they'll both begin their own right. Jay Z or Nas. There's another shot. Jigger. Jigger, yeah? Yeah, I love Nas, but it's Jigger. Um, yeah. Do you know what it is? Like, I watched Nas's um, champ, drink champs last night, yeah? Mm-hmm. And he's just got me back on Nas still. No, Nas, don't get me wrong, but... I, I, like I, I always like said with that one, I can't pick his clothes for me. No, but Jigger, you can't, you can't you start Jigger. Else, you can't start Jigger. If, you say, if it was Nas see, and anyone else, it'd be Nas. Nas, Does that make sense? Like, I know, but I just it just got me back Jigga, on Nas. Do you know what it is? I'll be honest with you. See what it got is. Got me back on see, Nas. On real nigga shit. You see, got growing me back up, on Nas. You see, you see, growing up, it was Jigga. Jigga, Jigga gave my all my like you said. None of us cared about. None of my brothers give a fuck about rap. So when they did start giving a fuck about rap, it was Pack Mob Deep. Mm. So that so Jigga gave me a voice because now Jigga reasonable doubt. Fuck you know, man. But Jigga gave me a voice. My, man, my, my my friends didn't like him. Cause it wasn't what they were saying. But mm. he gave me a voice as. Right, but all I do is make money and just mind my business. Mm. Yeah, that's my voice. Kanye or Dre? Kanye. Eat that thing. I'm going to take that out soon. <coughs> Kanye. Yeah, Kanye. 50 or DMX? 50. Oh, that's what I'm no. saying. You went too quick. You thought, you thought it was a 50 or Jada, but I've changed it. 50 or DMX? Because it's that's a... X. Mm. X is a fucking bad boy. Man. X. X has just got that pain in it that you can relate with, but I will have to take a shot for them, you know. Come yeah, on. You, could, you could do whatever. Fat Joe or Big Pun? Pun. Pun is shot, has got to be, you know. Pun. R.I.P. Pun. Method Man or Red Man? Red. You're really? going mad, mess. No, do you know why? Red is on too much e that thing. Why are you nodding your head no, for? Man, no, you know you're going to get it again man, this episode if you carry on. I need to get involved because I ain't even heard no. these no. eyes. Meth is meth. It's, it's got to be no, meth, Creed, man. Red is on some jolty business. I say that, yeah. Sitting on the jolty. So why you say red? History. Red, man. For where I was when I saw and what it meant to me. Listen, you and D-Lox are going mad. I used to do it. Me and Cream knows what's going on. I used to have a thing, yeah. We used to have to record videos, and We used to have to record the rap videos because there was no cable and all that. Oh, the method, rap videos. So Cream. I remember when I used to have the rap videos. Cream. No, I mean, Redman over method, method Man. Go on. I remember when I, when I had the rap videos, mm-hmm. I didn't really like Red Man that much, but he was so constant at the time. I remember uh, it, it meant something because a different type of rap. Red Man so over Method, method Man. You're going mad. Method. Came, method, method, method way a, over Method over no, Red Man. You know what? Method, method came in as a. Let me. Method came in as a. Method came in as a. Method came in as a. His voice. Look at his voice. Yeah, but the Method came in as a. If you're talking that set. But if you're talking that set. It's rain. Believe me. Not to make a man feel better than a woman. But you're talking that set where it's better than him. For whatever. I don't even know no Red Man thing like that. No, but you're talking that set where it's better than him. You're a mad man. You and Deluxe are mad men. Ghostface or Raekwon? Ray. Ray. Come on. Ray. But this is why I can't Zag, be Ziga man, Zag would say ghost race, though. I'd say Ray. Go on. Mob deep or D block? D block. Yeah. I say mob, though. I can mob see why you're saying mob. That could take mob a shot. Mob deep for me. For the same reason. Yeah, yeah, I could take a shot. For that the same reason. Yeah. Yeah. Take a I saw, shot. I saw, yeah. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. I saw Havoc and Styles talking the other day, yeah? You're right. And the things that Styles said about mob deep is why it could be mob deep. Only because the way Styles broke it down. But for me, when it comes to rap, they're, they're, I'm Jada yeah. and D-Block. You're right, you're they're, right, yeah. you're right. Storms your chip? Um, chip. Beyonce or Shanti? Um, Shanti. Yeah, Shanti. Whitney or Mariah? Whitney. J-Lo or Stacey Dash? Dash. Gotta be Dash. Amy or Adele? Amy. Amy. Steph Landon or Miss Banks? Banks. You got mad. Mavado or Vibes? Vibes. Jungle or Garage? Jungle. Bad boy. But no, but tell her, let, let, me, let me put it into that. Jungle, 
for the for where the my time. was. That's like yeah. what you said. Yeah. 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 Jungle time, but Gary Boozy. Yeah. yeah. Come in my bit, like I said, my bridges in Insta rap, so it's Jungle with Raven, and that's where I was. That's what I was rapping about. I was rapping about Jungle days and Garage days, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But Garage, I gotta say this: my first letter to my girl from a lot of people don't know, which I told you. Letter to my girl, I owe Garage everything because without Garage music, mm. I'm not here. So basically, let me break it down. Letter to my girlfriend was produced by a guy called Unknown. Um, you know, Unknown MC from Pi yeah, Piper. Big up Unknown. Right. Big up Pi Piper, big, big, big up Unknown, big up DT, big up all of them, and Creed, all of them. Creed! So, big Unknown, when big I big remember, up. Unknown heard me. I came out of jail, Unknown turned around and said, Rah, he, his, his cousin was working, for, was working for me. His cousin Chris, rest in peace, Chris, mm-hmm. was working for me. And he played him the DVD. Mm. Now, Unknown, what a lot of people don't know about, Pi Piper and them, they was in a rap group called Hijack. So you see when people talk about British rap, the origin of British rap, people forget, forget all of that, lad. People forget it was. Yeah, a- I'm gonna get onto the cameraman again. He's going mad. <laughs> what people don't act like, like you, you remember. When, when people talk about British rap, they often forget like there was a beginning, beginning, beginning. Like when London Posse around, it was before London Posse. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was actually before that. People like Silver Bullet, Hijack, everything mm. like that. Mm. Force. Mm. People like that. And, my, and that's the way I'm actually coming from London Posse. Mm. I remember London Posse came. I was rapping when London Posse came. Does that make sense? So no one mm. was rapping before, man. Mm. So like, Hijack got signed to Ice-T and Ice-T took them to America. Now, when they travelled to Ice-T, Ice-T taught them the game, the real game. Like, Ice-T, I eat that. Garage or house? No, Ice-T's not eating. No, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> You're yeah. a joke, you know. Let me finish. <laughs> no, no, go on, no, I, go on, finish. Ice-T, 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 and mm. he's kind of taught them the game properly and taught them the game in a way which we wouldn't learn coming from England. Mm. So he's kind of broke it down to them like, you know, how how you sell, how you sell your merch, how you do your own independent thing. So when they've come back to England, they've got this formula, but they know rap don't work here. Mm. This is why they jumped onto the garage. Mm. This is why okay. they started rapping on garage. That's why, because Ice-T told them this is how you do it. Mm. So when you start getting do you really like it and good times, do you that's really them like it? rapping, is it, is it looking weird? at Garage. We we look look like, like, so yeah, check this now, so check this now, check this now. Do you really <laughs> like it? Big up Kai's though. Was a UK mm-hmm. number one independently. Mm. So obviously them his money's long. So no, that's I, not Kai's. When I've come out of jail, he turned around and said, right, he's heard one of my mixtapes and said, right, I want that guy. So I'm going to give him rare to turn out of money. Mm. Now I'm, I've come out of pen. He's turned up at my bedroom's fireworks night. Like, right, here's some cash. He's give me the cash. I'm like, right, really? Mm. Yeah, just come turn up on Monday, start recording. Now he's giving me a set of songs I didn't even like. When he gave me to let my girlfriend, I didn't want to jump on the speed. Come on, we're jump, we're rapping on Mob Deep. We're doing. I don't want to. La, 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 la. I'm not. Mm. You hear me? But he's no jump that on look this. And look. Do this. So he's put man on that mindset, and then yeah. also when it comes to the retail and the selling and how we're gonna do this independently, he's got he's put man on that mindset. Yeah. So that why I say garage, oh, garage cool. or house, <coughs> garage, house, house nah. music. So <laughs> right, R and B or hip hop, hip hop. <coughs> that was a silly question. Coke or Pepsi, Coke. Come on, original. Fanta or Tango. This you see when I heard this question, <laughs> let me fill this in as well. You know one of them was created by the Nazis, huh? Fanta or a tango? Fuck both of them. Alright, mm. I'll go Fanta. Orange or apple juice? Orange juice. Ooh, you're the first to say orange, yeah, actually. Yeah, like Strawberry or chocolate milkshake? I had to take out a banana because the yard man them, innit? Can't be asking man if they want any banana. You get me? Can't be asking man if they want banana, you get me? So I had to take that out of the yard man would go mad on me. Strawberry or chocolate milkshake? Uh, Strawberry. Chinese or Indian? Chinese. Italian or Turkish? Italian. Ah, oh, Turkish, I thought you'd be Turkish, mate. Too salty. Um, rice and peas or jello? Rice and peas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, racist thing. Car or bike? <laughs> <laughs> car or bike? But car. BMW or Merc? Neither. For the same reason, for the same fan, fan of reason. Okay. Audi or Volkswagen? For the same reason. Jeep or coupe? <laughs> yo, yo, winding me up. Jeep or coupe? <laughs> um, coupe. I'd be for a nap or? Uh, neither, but I'd be for, I guess. My house. Dubai or Marbs? Marbs. I'm going to say Marbs, yeah, but I say Dubai. England or America? 
Um, England. Come on. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Gucci or Louis? Louis. I thought you said neither. Versace or Mosh? You'd know, it's slightly different, but it could be the same thing. Uh, Mosh. Designer or sportswear? To be fair, uh, sportswear. Football or basketball? Football. Inside or outside? In what sense? Uh, you either be inside, inside or outside, yeah. And All day, on, every on. day. In front of a computer with some drawing tablets. Looks or personality? This is a gal thing now. Personality. So you, you, you deal with a butters thing that's got good personality? Yeah. Mental. You won, blood. But we know the re- we know the re- answer the reasons that we had that same conversation the other day. Fam, we're not going to deal with a no, butters thing with good personality. But we could. You're do. just saying it for the no, camera, it's no, cool. No, it's no, fine. I'm not, I'm not, I'm definitely. You know what I'm saying? I've seen you with a lot of, I've seen you with a few bad personality, good looking <laughs> <laughs> I know you. You get what I'm saying? I've seen you with a few bad personality, good looking chicks. You get what I'm saying? So boom now. Bad girl or good girl? Good girl. Yeah, it's her on top or doggy? Doggy. He loves it. Look, he can think of a whole different. He can think of so <laughs> many different positions. <laughs> See, Mike. See this guy, fam. Hold on. Sex toys or no sex toys? Depends. <clears throat> yeah, it depends for you, innit? But sex toys, it's a bit fun, innit? Um, money or love? Love. We make money for nothing. Link up TV or Graham Daily? Link up. SB TV or Mixtape Magnus? SB. And that, my friend, is a fire iron. Switched it up a bit. Yeah, Get me. Current affairs. Yeah, right. So you lot, the fucking storm. Shall we start with the storm? Blood. Storm Eunice. <laughs> I told you it was going to be serious, bro. Storm Eunice, I eat that thing. Yeah? <laughs> that storm, man. Storm Eunice, I eat that thing, man. I was just chatting to my cousin just a second ago. Well, not a second ago, but before this, I was mm-hmm. chatting to my, my cousin from over Dominica. We're from Hurricane Island. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, they would love that I storm. I get what you're saying. I they get what would you're love saying. that storm. But that's how you know we're not used to them things, though, innit? Because <coughs> no one didn't want to drive on the roads or I was outside. Like that. I was outside yesterday. England's mm. not built. No. But I see, I see all man falling down the window, man but making you know people man fall on though. the floor and them thing there. People died, you know? Yeah, a couple people quiff, but there's bare millions of people that live here. Yeah, uh, here, here we are. No, but else, you know. no, a couple of people did die still. No, I can't tell you. Is, R.I.P. Mm. to the people you that know, passed away. People Someone storm. died because a tree landed on, on their car. <laughs> oh man, that's <laughs> awful, oh, shouldn't it? Imagine someone's sunbed, yeah, their um, their sunbed flew off their balcony. Like how many stories up because of the storm? I saw it mm. myself. Because you live in countries like England, if I realize like lucky you are, bro. Yeah, that's you what I'm that. saying, and that's a, that's a madness. Like if you realise that, like, you know, England's a dead rock. That's why nothing happens there. Mm. It's two dead rocks that collided. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so literally, yeah. So that storm was, was I thought it was a lot anyway. But um, yeah, you didn't say that. Did you hear about Prince Andrew though? Yeah. Did you hear about it? Nasty. You know he settled out of court, innit? The nasty guy. He, he settled, settled out of court. What did he do? The one with that he was in the, the picture with, and he said he don't know who that is. Yeah. He don't remember taking the picture. So apparently, it's been settled out of court. So I heard it's something like seven points out a million. Mm. That's mad, but that's what I'm saying. It's what dodgy. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Mm. What do you reckon the scenario is, and what do you reckon? What did it stop at? Mm. Mm. What did you reckon? What do you reckon the scenario is, though? Well, he's guilty, isn't it? Do you reckon that? No, but would you? Ha- how do you reckon it happened? Like, do you reckon it is what she says it is, or do you reckon it is? Because sometimes I they do just pay people off just for the sake of it. I do think. Did you watch the interview that he had? Yeah. I like, mean, come on, that interview one. alone. They're all fucked. That's number one. Do you understand the way <clears> he the way he fumbled on that interview made me know that there was definitely something going on. Do you know there. what it is though? And, yeah. Yeah. Go on. Michael Jackson paid people off as well. Like yeah, they all do. Which is, I'm, I'm saying they're all they're all nasty guys. Like people like, oh, Michael went uh, went a nonce and all this, and then everyone's saying Prince Andrew was a nonce. They're all nonces. They're both you know, nonces. You know, funny, I, I used to have this conversation. Because I ain't paying off no one if yeah. I'm if I'm innocent. I ain't paying you and nothing. You're a, and you're a royal. Man, you so don't, you don't even I could, I could be living on the streets. No, if I'm but I'm innocent, saying, I'm look not how paying powerful you, you are. Like you should have been able to answer for yourself. I wanted to hear what happened. Do you know what I mean? I'm just not paying nothing. Mm. Even Michael. RIP, but I wouldn't be paying nothing. Like, if I didn't do anything, why am I paying you? 
Mm-hmm. Out of court, like do you get what I'm saying? It's dodgy from there. That's me. It is. I just feel like it's dodgy from there. Michael and Prince Andrew, they were touching kids. You get me? Yeah, but sometimes they pay them off because even just the talk of it and all that. Yeah, just yeah doesn't but the look talk. Good. Yeah, but it doesn't look good that you're paying them off either. Yeah. I'd rather go to court. I'm innocent. Why am I paying you? That's my whole point. That's the simple. Do you but get what I'm saying? If you're innocent, they're not gonna want to pay no one. <laughs> Like I'm innocent. What the fuck are you talking about? Mm. You, you, know what? Done, you, you know normally what I'm my thing in All the my way. interpretation you know of you paying it or somebody off All is because you don't want it to go any further because it might turn out even worse. One thing I learned about see one thing I went from when I had the agency. Yeah, mm. one of the biggest things, especially when I was like in the early years when I was mm-hmm. dealing with like a lot of central, I always say I, I'm happy that I got to learn the depravities of human nature from that perspective very young. So in other words, a lot of the people that were walking through man's doors were linking a lot of these type of people. So from young, I got to kind of see, and one thing I learned, bro, you don't know what these fuck, like what they could actually be doing Mm. could even be worse than what it is they're being accused of, or it might not be nothing, you just start, but they live a way where our life, where human, normal people don't mean nothing to them anyway. So whether it was that particular person or that, he just probably doesn't remember that particular person. He probably actually didn't because it was normal. Mm. This is normal behavior. Like you are less than us. Mm. We live this way. And that's generally how over there works, especially when it comes to like royal and diplomats. Mm. And so me, I don't even try to work out. I just kind of look at it like, you know. Listen, they're both nasty. Him and Michael, they're both mental fam. Next current affair is... um, I just want to talk about Kanye. Kanye and Kim. Kanye's getting mad. Kanye's getting mad. Kanye might. Just catch 22 on that. Uh, I look at Kanye as. Um, I think I was saying this song a couple of days ago. Like, he's telling us information that we're not privy to, that he's privy to. Mm. So, from that perspective, man, I appreciate it. But the truth is, he shouldn't be. He, he, it's pointless what he's doing because I can't explain it like he's talking he's, he's gone mad but at the same time he's not mad I think he should just leave the girl now just forget her man I don't think he's mad I just think he's having a bit of a meltdown I think he should just forget the girl now man because he's just on Kim like he's just trying to get Kim back trying to get but you see girl the more you try to run them down the, the more they're running away in it <laughs> yeah but I think but, it's more than just running down girl that was his wife and they got something like four kids it don't together. matter who it is and, and, it don't matter and, who it is you're running like after you. she's a girl so you're running feel, down girl she's not his like wife no more about she's stuff. a girl you get what I'm saying I feel like no like, matter how much money you got you still could be a weak human being bro yeah no but I'm saying I've been through little stages where you're like oh you like, you want to mm. beg it, or you're going to beg back away but that's dead fam because the more you, you know what I'm saying they're mm-hmm. not on it the more you just need to just crack on Mm. That's what I would say to Kanye. Like, he's got P as well. Like, just crack on it. Don't matter, all right, she's baby mother and all that. But she's not moving like he's baby mother. She's got next boyfriend and all that. Mm. She's taking but a piss. But he's got a girlfriend. No, right but, now. No, but, no, but I'm just saying she's taking mm. a piss yeah, out like of him. That, that, that girl he's with. That's no, but I'm saying is. she's taking a piss to out of him. To be fair, like, I think he's, she's, he's more taking the piss publicly out mm. of her than she is out yeah, of him. No, but number you would one, think that, innit? Spoke- number one, mm. she hasn't spoken a word about their relationship. Mm. The yeah, only time then, she spoke about them was when he spoke yeah, about then, the, the kids. At, at the same time, when you... He's been you know speaking what, about you know it a like, lot. Though? Do you know what it's and like? And he's like, been if, with other girls. Yeah, but if I'm honest, yeah. Like, you see, uh, if a truthful, talking about these kind of things is mm. a bit mad in a sense of like... Because if you talk about this, it's not about Kanye or Kim, it's about get man and gal. Mm. So like, man and gal in general, like, some of us will, some of us will play it differently in general. So there's certain scenarios that you look at as a man, you just know you would never be there. So that's one of them, and I'll tell you why. Because of any man who goes like I don't know, bro. I've lived a long life, and I I wouldn't be there because you know what you are, you know what you have. It's like mm. you're not oblivious to what you have. You're not oblivious to what the scenario is. So if now you're hurt by this, it's like me turning around at the end of a scenario and being upset. Mm. That raw. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Mm. Yeah, we know, we, we know. So that's what I'm, so she knows that he's a dickhead. So my mm. problem is, not even like that, but she knew that, who, she knew who he was in it. Like, and he knew who she was. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So now, she comes in. when the mm-hmm. girl turns around and, and, and is a female, like females are more intelligent than men. Let's, let's have it right. Mm. Like the world works a certain way. And females are generally more intelligent, more emotionally intelligent than men, number one. So now 
these are scenarios where she gets to be emotionally intelligent mm -hmm. and he doesn't have emotional intelligence. Yeah, he's no. a so, yeah, so definitely, now, definitely. Yeah. I agree with that so 100%. Here, so she knows what she's doing. Like, yeah. so she doesn't, she knows she doesn't. So this is where the control gets given away. So I see, I see what it is and I see why people say Kanye stop. But for me personally, like, I couple it humbly. Kanye's a weak human being. Like, mm. I'm not saying he's not a good person or a bad person, but he's weak, isn't it? Mm. So what else can he do? Like he's going mad. Though. Like we see, like I've seen Mandu. He's, like, going, Mandu he's going mad. crazy though, isn't it? He's going mad. He needs still. therapy at the moment. He needs, <clears throat> he needs more than therapy. He needs to just allow it. That's what I'm saying. And the girl, his girl, that's just still cool with him. They know but apparently madness. now they're broken up. Of course they have. They yeah, must come be. Come on. He was like, that's bad. Come just, on. I swear he sent, he sent, he sent Kim like a, a truck, know, a truck load, full of, full of, of roses of flowers and all of this. You get what I'm saying? And all that. Like he's just done a lot. Do you get what I'm saying? But it's but like if you, if you want to play with the devils, then you're gonna this, bro. Do you know what it's like when you look he, at Kardashian, what he needs to do? He needs to go and look at the, look on YouTube. On, of, he needs to go and check the video of her and Ray J and just pat <laughs> and just pattern up his <laughs> and just pattern up his <laughs> and just pattern up his Now, cause everyone's on this like yeah move like Kim's this Kim's that Kim Kim yes heavy Kim Kim Kardashian so heavy. She's a little slut. She's no, a little Jazzy. She's a little down. Jazzy. I say what I want. It's my show, yes. RTM uh -uh. podcast. Uh -uh. She's a little uh -uh. Jazzy. You get what I'm saying? She's. You know I swear she was going. Can I say one thing? I swear she was going out with Ray J at the time, yeah, wasn't she? No, no, so no, she no, made she a sex tape no, with her partner no, that got leaked. That does not make her a slut. Let's just get that right. Ray J's making you know she's mental. Yeah, Ray J's. Ray J's making you know she's mental. I don't even see it. I've never. Do you know I've never seen it before? Ray J's not even claiming her like his girl or nothing. Okay. Mental girl. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, do you know what it is? The Kardashians are like record labels. Mm, mm, mm. They're like, you know what you're playing with? Dude. You know what's going to happen? You know why but they're all fucking of their men and, and All Kanye. of their men, for some reason, always have go like... For some reason? Yeah, they go like this. For some reason? Well, There's obviously not for some... Not for some uh, listen, I'm just saying, all of their men seem to go like that. Listen... Me and Spray could have another conversation on this podcast about men in midlife crisis, you know. Oh, so, like, you know, we're, we're, I've, we're, just, I've just come through one. But we're not, we're not, we're, 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 we're not gonna, we're, we're, we're not gonna do that on this clip. But mm. like that, what they, what that is, a, they're symbolic to life, isn't it? Like you see, one thing I learned about entertainment, yeah, and this mm. is what I learned very early. The entertainment, especially like English, one of the reasons why I've always played back fiddle in entertainment in England because the country's small, isn't it? so you have to learn how to like read what's happening in the world of entertainment. So the Kardashians. They just sim simplify what it is, isn't it? So like, every, it's like that. So the amount of man that we know that's always looking for this, even though we always had that question, prettier or ugly or whatever mm -hmm, the fuck mm -hmm, is. The reason I say mm -hmm. that, yeah, and I, can, and I, I believe that. I said prettier or ugly. Whatever the, the fuck it is. Said own question. Whatever the fuck it is. What was it? Prettier or ugly. Personality or whatever. Whatever the fuck it is. But I'll tell you what, the, uh, the, 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 the ethos of it is this year. Collapse, bro. You just collapsed. Go you, you spend your life looking for pretty. That's all you're going to be look like. It's an endless journey. Yeah. Pretty, pretty ends in... Man, not look for pretty. Pretty finds man. Hear what I'm saying to you. Pretty finds man, you see me? Dark, you know? Listen, let me let Pretty finds <laughs> man, you see me? No, but, <laughs> hey, come on. What I'm Ugly can't find man. Let me what I'm Pretty, Ugly can't find man. Okay, beauty, attractive ends in the dark, you know? Attractive. Mm. So in other words, you mm. keep on looking for attractive, it ends in the dark, it's endless. He's it's, laughing, an ugly a man's laughing. An finish. ugly man's finding this funny. Let me you finish. get what I'm saying? Finish, go on, finish. go so on. It ends in the dark. So you see the Kardashians, mm. like they're the epiphysis of that world, innit? So man get stooped into that world, innit? And same with gal. People end up following gal. This is what I learned from the agency, bro. People say, how do you keep the agency alive? You know me, bro. I don't fuck a holy per gal. I just like the ones that I like. Bullshit. I just like the ones that I like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you, fuck, you run around fucking every gal, you're not mm. going to have an agency tomorrow. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the energy you're putting out there. You're not going to have that tomorrow. So, like, it's that weakness in men in it, and the Kardashians simplify that at the highest level. Mm. And there's other people, there's other, there's other little one two acts mm -hmm. that simplify, but there's other, there's also other models you got role models you got to look to say the opposite. Like you're looking at Nikki's situation, for instance. Nikki says the opposite, she's with her man from the old, she grew up. Mm -hmm. You look at Cardi, opposite. So, like, you got to just take it for what it is. So, mm. if people end up over there and believe in that, I feel Nikki with butters as well before it is what it is, but it's all the same, like, shit. Mm. like man, like man, you know, why when I go into the model agency, you know, mm. I'm not going to models because I used to look at the screen and say, but man can do that though. Simple as that, you know? Mm. Like, look at the TV screen on MTV base and say, <laughs> nah, like, what? That's... I've got one just like that. Mm. Mm. That was the original... Image. In the phone book. 
So it was like Mom. taking that illusion away from attractiveness. So when I answer that question, you know me, bro. You know, man. Yeah, you're not yeah. taking the personality overlooks. So it's so, cool. It's, you said that for the camera, it's cool. Bro, you know the reality, I keep personality. We're not going to go and know an ugly. Ugly is not, the, that's, that's, if we, not, ugly is not the word, but the, the, the aesthetics is the aesthetics. We have an aesthetic in it. Mm. I always say to people, don't look for beauty, look for your type. Develop a type mm-hmm. and stick to it. So you might like thick thighs and... I'd say seeing you with a butter thing, so <laughs> I can't. But at the same time, they're not the Chris's ones we could have, though. Bro, we can always have Chris though. But that's my point. And, but we'd rather go with the ones who make us soul feel good. Mm-hmm. Ones who make, who, who make mm-hmm. us feel warm. Mm-hmm. The ones who treat, you know what I'm saying to you? Yeah, exactly. You see who's around, man. You see what kind of around, man. Do you know what I'm saying? True stories, but so they still have to be good looking. But that, that's box standard because mm. attractiveness should be a reflection of a person's character. Mm. That's why I say life is art. Because a person who looks after themselves, who lives, Yeah, let's right, go into the life is art thing. Because this is a, a, my subject, bro. This is you lot's subject. <laughs> so bring me into this life is art madness, Cream or, or GL. <laughs> yeah. So you could, it, as soon as I told Deluxe, he, he said, what's the subject? I said, life is art. He said, you didn't pick that, did you? <laughs> no, <it> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> said, definitely you didn't. Yeah. So you Come lot on. talk me through this life is art thing, car. You get me? For me, life ain't art. You get me? Life is, is. gunshot. No, I'm joking. Mm-hmm. That's still art, bro. It's still like you still made it look good, man. Ago, mm. people could have made it look worse. You made gangster look good, you know. Like? So, mm, but when like you was job. rapping, what was you rapping about? So I'm talking about life is art. No, you broke it down. No, but I'm art. just saying. I know, but you're asking me something else. But it's true. But no, but that's how I. That's how I. That's how I look at life is art. Okay, because when you're making your music, it's about your life. Who's rapping? We when you're rapping, yeah. My car is just trying to talk. Sorry, no, about No, go on. No, no, go. When you was rapping, there was other people that could have, that could have, that you know, you was rapping for a man like you. Yes, so of you course, was the yes. one that could articulate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're rapping for him and him. Mm. But you can articulate this. Mm. I know my biggest, I remember I had a tune called They Call Me Mike. And I, was rap, I used to rap for the man in a minute. Mm. Hopping off our of ones and the man. We're loving, but I'm the articulation of our lives, isn't it? Mm. That's the art. Okay. Yeah, that's how that's, I look that, at That's the simplest form of it. Mm. Life just, is. Sometimes, like, you might be going, you might get a little bit of writer's block. And then something will happen to you. You get inspired. They you start know. writing music. It turns into I just had to pick that subject to make sure he comes, man. I had to pick that subject to make sure he comes, bro. Don't give me jokes. The reason I say it's slogan, yeah, life is art. It's like, you look for the beauty, like even the, the basis of stoicism, that's what like, we would say the book. It's looking for the beauty in life. Mm. And it's looking for you know, expression of life. Does that make sense? Mm. And that's where that's where it means life is art. So you're looking for the creativity. And art is something which there's other things I could get into about art financially, which we're not gonna do. But I can say that art is one of the few things which has lasted from the beginning of time. It's one of the few things that will never die. It's one of the few things. And that, for real, though, it's very yeah. expensive. It's one of the few things that will ride every recession. It's one of the few things that can be unregistered. It's one of the few things the taxman can't tell you what it's worth. It's one of the very few things in life where, if you grasp the concept of it, and art could be anything. It could be anything from pictures to words to it. And in the world we're in with the NFT world now, we can get mm. our digitally art placed and we can get it. So you need yeah. to tell me about this NFT because yeah, they're making some money on that. Yeah, they are. It's, I was um, just you know, I mean, teach me on that. Again, I mean, to, to get into the, the isms and schisms is long, but the, but the either and then like the, the basis of it is blockchains. It's basically you can turn a piece of artwork into a cryptocurrency in a nutshell. Basically. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like... My it friend Smurf was trying to explain it to me as well because he's been buying. Money, he's yeah. been buying it. Is it? Yeah, big him up, man. He's been buying some as well. So he was showing it to me on his phone, and he was showing me about, you know, like they're going to be using these things, you know, like for. It's um. Do you know that, what, it's, what is it? That meta, what is it? Meta, I was going to say to you, explain to me what the metaverse, the metaverse is, is, the metaverse you know and all this and stuff like that. And do, you know do you know the easiest way of explaining it? Yeah? What is the metaverse? It's like, and, okay, like, do you know the? You see. You see, you see when man go into the CDs, mm-hmm. you're preying what's to come, innit? Mm-hmm. Anything that man do, see, even when we go into music, we're ahead of our times, we're preying what's next, innit? So when we do anything, you're preying what's next. So this is the same. Inevitably, even when I go into the CDs, I used to sit down to man and say, this is going to die, because streams are kicking in. So when it does, so right now everyone's making their money off streams, but if you're sat here just believing that streams and shows are what's going to be happening next, then you're an idiot. Mm-hmm. You're not watching what's next. So like, it's inevitable that everything that was digitally 
in digital space had to get signatures at some point. Inevitably, just waiting right, for technology yeah, to get out to base. Yeah. So now this blockchain technology is up to par. So now, the same way we own this here, in this space, we now own this here in, in that, that space. Because I saw them, like, you can buy the little tiny squares, you know, you can, like they, on the can, grid. Listen, people are buying and selling and houses. Then you're, what? Listen, this situation, what the people hell? are buying it's, it's gold. It's going to be, within the next 10 years, this mm. is going to be the way you buy and sell things. So, like, even now, I've got relationships with, like, I'll be speaking to, like, record labels now. Mm. And the thing, about the, good, the thing about the whole blockchain and NFT system, which is so beautiful, is it's not in benefit for big companies to, to start doing their own things. What is the metaverse is my question. The metaverse is basically people creating words that we can do everything in. It's kind of... It's, it's, is it it's, like the universe, but, like... But a digital it's not even yeah, really, To be fair, it's not even a 100% real thing. It's more a word at the moment. Like, it's more... Mm. The metaverse is everything scanned that like way. Crypto, like crypto, yeah. all the stuff. Like, even is the internet in the metaverse? It's all going that way. But what is I was the internet saying, in the metaverse? The internet is the metaverse, isn't it? Oh, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I mean. It's the like, basis is a word. It's a word that means the metaverse is we're going to be in the metaverse. So this meeting could be. It doesn't really mean anything. It's more what does mean something. And now it's more about the NFTs, the crypto. It's uh, you know knowing your cryptos, knowing how the blockchains work, and that's right now we're in a time of learn. I say to anyone, I say the best thing that man done. Do you know what art done? Mm. It taught me, I learned how to learn consistently. So we're in a time of learning now. So when it comes to things like NFTs, all this, we just need to be learning, taking bits in and knowing how things work. If not, give it five years. We're out of the loop, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, we're out of the loop, my nigga. I'm telling you, even down to our podcasting, I'm telling you, within the next four to five years, NFTs will be going through, um, podcasts will become uh, NFTs. I'm mm -hmm. promising you. Yeah. You've got to teach me about NFTs still. Well, this is, true. but even though, look, I don't know everything, but I do know right now, I've got, obviously, I've got NFTs out there, I've sold some, I'm doing my thing, but it's a game where you just got to keep it in it. My bridge is on it hard. Yeah. Got, look, I'll, tell, I'll tell you the truth. The, Life's funny, isn't it? We got twenty. Like you know, luck, they say they say what is luck? Luck is when timing and preparation meets, isn't it? So when I fell back and started drawing pictures, you know the funniest thing, bro. All the creative, like even the fact that people you wanna, can get money off that, no, that yeah. NFT. That's no, the man, thing. We're, we're doing our things, but to 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 simplify it, I say this, and it's why I said it's why I've got the attitude. It's why I'm kind of where I'm now. Why I, say I don't want to chat to no one about nothing. Why I don't know. I don't want to crack on and do my work <laughs> because we're in a time now. It's like. If you, I said to myself five, ten years ago, I want to be as creative as I can for my own purpose, mm -hmm. just for myself. So you go and do that. Now, at, at the end of it, rah, they want to make films, they want to do this. I've still got a rap career. People still like my freestyles. I can still do it to I can do my artwork. So that came from the creativity. So now you're saying, rah, so when the NFT things come along, I'm not expecting when I'm doing all that, that in five, ten years down the line, the world's going to be talking NFTs. Mm. So I spent all my years getting my, my craft up to up to scratch. Mm. Well, humbly, I'm good. Very humbly. You see my thing. My, yeah, come on. What you're seeing me draw, yeah. I can draw in minutes and seconds. Mm. Like, I don't... And next year, we're going to be doing a tutorial. Now you can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, now no, you no. can. <laughs> after, after, you get what I'm saying? Like, no, but you know what? Mm. It's all real like that. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to learn. One time you sent them to me in the office. Mm. I thought, then when, I, when I was first getting back into the drill, I was doing my comic. But when I was going through the Talisa case. But even then, you know why I've done the book them times mm. there? And you pissed me off at the fucking law, chief. <laughs> but, you know, but you know why I've done the book them times there? Because mm. I'm going through the case and I said to myself, I just want to see if I can do it. Mm. Remember, I sat in the office every day and done it. Mm -hmm. And then one day he walked in the office, I'm doing one of the pictures, and I didn't really know what I was doing, but I'm going to do it anyway. And he looked around and said, Yeah, that's hard, but my brother can do it in seconds. But in my heart, my brother can like, do it quick. He's a dick. But, but, but he's saying quick. it, in, in my, but in my heart, I know that's to be that kind of guy, that's where the level just, mm. that's mm. where I am now. Mm. Now I, I know what I'm doing, isn't it? Mm. And that was the thing you have to learn how to learn. You have to, when you're learning art, you have to humble up yourself. That's what I'm saying. Thing. I would have patted my brother with you still, but he went mad, man. I don't chat to him no more, man. But the, the beautiful thing about learning was what the beautiful thing about art as well is the environment. It's, a, it's not like music. Music's a, a hyper inflated environment. It's all about who you know, what you know. Mm -hmm. Listen, you could go and look at an artist who's got ten followers and love his work. You could look at an artist who's got a million and love his work. We don't have that it, that energy that exists yeah, in, in the art yeah, world. Yeah. So that's learning art again, humbling up yourself, learning, and that was the beauty about it. So, but so by the time you've I've actually gone and learned my craft and really know what I'm doing now we're in the NFT world. So now. All the man that was into crypto, all the man that were brokers, all the man that's into banking. Like I've got certain situations in front of man. I can create my ticket. I've got work out there for 10 bags. Huh. I've sold work for good money. And people are coming, humbly, people are coming to me like, Mike, can we get that collection? Can, they're pissing me off. Uh. Mm. <laughs> pissing me off. This is why I'm being, you know. Uh. But now to know that you went and create a craft, 
cool. You know what? The rest of the world can go and I'll just sit around and draw some pictures. So that's that's what the NFT thing is giving. It's crazy. And I'll say to everyone, just try to just learn the basics of it now. Because I'm telling you everything, even down to our podcasts. Yeah. Like, this is... Because you're going to watch what Jimmy and them doing. You see what Jimmy and them's doing. You see what the Jones... Who's Jimmy? Jones. Oh, Jimmy Jones. With the Jones. NFT space. And he's going to be doing the video space and like a lot of it. You know what I said about the thing with the, with the video with Luke? I want to do that. I want to do a... I'll make our own video, release as an NFT. And, and I can... Because with NFT, you create... A, 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 it, it absolutely. What does NFT stand for? Non-fungible token. It oh, actually yeah. cuts out every middleman. So if I create the video, say for like I do an NFT for the make our own video and we sell it. I can... In my wallet, I can connect a royalty to Luke's family. So then they will always get a piece of that when it's resold. No matter mm. what, the no shop, no no one in between. Just okay, what. makes sense. Yeah, so you can <coughs> just make their money. Basically. Yeah, and that's how that's how that's how the NFT. So it's just basically we can do, we we can cut out every form of middleman, and this is why you're not gonna within the next like ten years you're not gonna see a lot of people promoting it. It's mm. one of those things. Does that make sense? So you have to learn it yourself. Yeah, <coughs> makes sense. Yeah. No, my mate Smurf was trying to explain it to me still, but he was make, Smurf, he's making man. money off of it, yeah. yeah. And um, he, he, uh, he was been collecting a few of them on this. You're high thing again, am I? I think so. But she was so good. high last time, yeah. We he both, said I'm high. No, we both said Dodie. Like she said, Do my mum oh, was saying yeah, Dodo, so yeah. Funny. We can't leave that out. No, we have to talk they, about There's that. so many comments, yeah. Yeah. Ozzy was like, yeah, like they had um, one label mate, Dodo. Man, see, kid, that's what the fuck Who's Dodo? Dodo? Yeah, yeah, but she's gone, know. she's gone like, no, it's Dodie. No, it's Dodie. And they're Dodie. Like, yeah, yeah, for real. Just like, yeah, 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 for real yeah. Dodie. But like, everyone in the comments is like, it's Dido. Dido. <laughs> Dido. How do you feel when you've had that you broke up the group? Dido. I, I broke up the group. I couldn't believe it. I ain't break up no group, man. <laughs> I'm watching that. They've got, they got me in the comments like, chatting shit as well. It's great. No, but the only thing, I know this bad man don't even remember it. I don't remember saying that, but I know he doesn't think that he's the reason. You know, innit? It wasn't that deep, man. You weren't that deep, man. Lethal wanted to break up, man. He wanted to break up. You guys an excuse, you get me? Big up, big up. More fire, though. Big big them up. Come but on. nah, Dido, man. Dido. Dido, big Dido, you know. Remember? Man's had the roughest Dodie Alpha head. <laughs> like, man's had the roughest Dodie, like. Man's thinking Dodie's a rapper now. I must have been a little... I think I was low-key high still. Hi, fam. I oh, wasn't it? Yeah. No, no, no. Dodo. <laughs> Dodie. Dodie. Yeah, with conviction. Yeah. I was so sure as with well, so you know. much conviction but that I agree. No, they was all like, yeah, nah, yeah, they, for they, real. They, they, nah, but he went mad with Dodo. Yeah, Dodo, Dodo was madder than Dodie. At least you knew it weren't... <laughs> at least you knew... Man saying he's some dead bird. Remember, Dodo's some extinct bird. Like I'm smart. I know. I know stuff. Is it? I yeah. thought it was. Some, I, I thought it was stuff. a type of ape, a gorilla, no, no, you're going mad. a dodo. No, you're going mad. I've it's seen an it in the zoo. No, it's an extinct bird. Okay. You get me? So you I sure. Hundred percent smart. A star English. So I know about tennis, A star English. You know. Dodo extinct bird. You get what I'm saying? Don't know about ape, but yeah, Dido. <laughs> That's who he was trying to get to. Not Dodie Alpha Ed. You get me? Mm. R.I.P. You and Princess Diana. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You lot are mental as well. You get <gasps> oh, okay, yeah. man. So they crashed Break that. Up. <laughs> no, crashed you want to get killed, but I'm not even looking up. Mm -mm. No, 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 man. Please, I reject that. You've gone mad. Yeah. Come on, man. Dodie's my dog. Mm. But boom, now, life is art, though. Mm. Life is art. Is you got to keep up with the times, though. It's just, like I said, the expression of it is, life is art. So do you... looking for the beauty in life mm. rather than looking for... Mm. So do you reckon that, like, the, like you know, like... <coughs> so do you reckon you getting into, like, your drawing and practising and, pra like, it's all prepping you for now? For yeah, what's to come? On top of that, I would have went mad otherwise. Yeah. I know that when I'm sitting myself. It's therapy. Yeah. Therapy. yeah. I know where I'm at right now, like, if you know me naturally, I'm a madman. Like, I'm not gonna... We know this. Therapy. Hello, you need something. Like... You you know, know, whatever it. problems I went into that care home with, they they never actually. Brother, I always say this yeah, because I always I'm always like yeah, Mike's bloody miserable and all this. Mm. Mike's bitter yeah, mm. but he's like when I say bitter, I don't even mean it like that because he's got reason to be bitter. I've got reason to be bitter. I think you that know what I'm word saying? is but misused. I think he's misunderstood. Yeah, like that's what I think, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. Not like that, but you, you come across like, yeah, some people might think, oh, he's miserable, he's always like chatting madness, but he's actually got 
Mm. Reason. Like, I swear to God. Because mm. you saying it the other day, not like that, but we could be like, yeah. if you look at today's society yeah, or today's like, thing. Same thing mm. I was saying to you the other day. Like, like you got, you got like, see that they, they, they're making money, pee, like off this thing, yeah? Mm. I'm saying we've done all that hard graft. Where, do you know what I mean? No, we, I think, again, you know I, mean? Think, I think going on the art journey, yeah, Mm. Was it added up to that learning though as well? That was another thing I had to learn as well. I had to learn why and how that works. It's like looking at, you know, when you start to learn, like when you start to learn the past, you realize, oh shit, that was who done that. But I knew that. Oh shit, that's how it works. Mm. Like there's a way it works. Like, I, and I know now, even being sitting here and knowing that, all right. You know, we don't know how much views just gonna get, whatever. But people half give a fuck about what man's got to say, or even, you know. Rob, Mike, do you want to make this film or knowing that I'm, you still got some relevance, knowing that you still mean half a fuck mm. is the result of all those years, is the result of being first. Cause if I didn't, like, like, like when you get to the crib and I said, right, let's spit bars and you're like, right, talk it. Like that, My yeah. boy, I wouldn't still feel like that if it weren't like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying to you? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's not like that. It's not like that. You tried to challenge me. Like, fuck that, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, the fuck it. But like, yeah, can we spit bars? Like, bro, you're better than me, man. Allow me. Like, you know, like, allow me. But I you tried to have a, pri- you tried to have a private class, you know, like, <laughs> don't try to have a private class, like, bro, don't forget all the things. Like, like, he was one of my favourite artists. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, there's very few British artists I like. There's very few that I Him and DV are my favourite things. But like, and Shaq. Mm. The only few I used to kind of listen to, to be fair with you. But, um, so it's like that kind of that learning and, and, and finding that I think that that kind of helped um, help with that if that makes sense mm. to, to what you were saying before mm, mm. yeah pass my phone please pass, the, pass my blood clot phone we can't do it. Like, I, do, I, I do think if man didn't find art mm. I wake up every morning I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning I start doing my admin I start Art and learning, learning and producing gave has given me a structure for the last five years. I know I would have ended up just chasing around, chasing money, or chasing the next thing. So when we chase the next thing, this way when spray started this, I said spray. You know, I'm just happy you got something to do because spray's very. You're one- supposed to do it with me, blood. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, he did us. That would have been a mud, but could you imagine? It, yeah, no, no, it just worked know, out with how it worked no, out. To be fair, I said to him, I even said to him, time, just keep going as you're going. Like mm. a man's here, and I'm not, and I said, you might even mm. want to interview me by the time I'm ready. Like fuck it, if you don't, but I'll be happy to see. But you I had going. to force you to come here, bro. Guy didn't even want to fucking talk to me, blood. <laughs> but no, the, all I said to you, always I said to him. Like, obviously it's my bridge innit mm. so I don't even want like how can I put it you know he just want to crack on mm. it's Rashid chatting madness to him bro. Rashid chatting madness it's like you know he just want to crack on you don't wanna... talk about the, 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 the we got the, the the film coming no he didn't say don't talk about the film he we said, got he, the film he don't, coming he didn't, he didn't don't sit don't, down with he spray. didn't say don't talk about the film what he said, what he said was don't say anything negative mm-hmm. That's what he said, and I said, "No, I'm moving that space." But like, that's good advice, though. Yeah. Mm. So like, um, it's it's more thing. I just want to. Rashid was my bridge. I like Rashid, you know, until he he done that little so stupidness. Then, so if I'm you could pick him. out of art and uh, music, which one would it be? Um, at this moment in time, mm. one of art. Only for the only for the being, I know that's what I can what I could be doing for the for the next. I, and th- th- there's 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 growth in that in other words music is more an expression and mm. humbly but I don't I've never sat down and written a bar go got mm. a studio or said I want to make an album or I've never did that in my career ever mm. so it's always been a thing where it's always been an expression every bar that I've ever given someone if you ever if any one of my fans have ever listened to a bar they know that half of them start with yo lord yeah. so they're all thoughts I don't, that's why I don't write because they're all thoughts mm. so like yeah. music's always going to be taught an expression to not write but you already had it for. You taught me how to not write. Do you, do you I write again now, though. But then you can do it as a, as a remembrance. I write again. It's a funny thing, we've, we've been writing down all the lyrics to the um, mother song. Mm. And the, the beautiful thing is I hate writing down lyrics, but I've got the um, Google's got the, the drive. One more chance by Mike G.O.C. and Young Spray is a very big Classic. tune. Classic. Big mm. tune. Very big mm-hmm. tune. Check big that out. Big tune. Check that out. Do you know, crap me mm. up. I think that's what, that was one of the first things I actually spoke about. What I like it. that beat. Love that tune. And with a spray, like, yeah. Yeah, you went and did that. You had to do that, didn't you? Why did you say at the beginning? Like, you had to do that, didn't you? Because I got you on the last one. Because I remember you done the Frank. Mm-hmm. Remember Frank that day? English Frank? Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I love yeah. it. You remember? Come on, I, just, yeah, I killed that tune still. Yeah, you did. You fought that shit. So, like, I think 
What were you saying about the um one more chance? No, what were you saying? Uh, uh, the, that? the art of the music. Yeah, yeah I think art with art, it. it's like, like for instance, there's something I was starting to spray about before. Mm. Now I ideas like we talk about off camera, I know that's not coming from music. Like I've got a ten year plan in that world, which yeah. is viable, feasible. I can see it now, I can put it in a business plan. I can ask for that much amount of money. That's art. Mm. Where, don't get wrong, the music helps, mm -hmm. because I know one thing I did know is that when I got into art, that being a rapper helped the fact of where it's coming from. Like I've got some of my comic drawings on prison paper. Mm. I've got, you know. They go mad with that music, just in case <laughs> you look in the house. Yeah, just in case they can hear it, I've got to just <laughs> let that be known. So I know uh, that being an artist kind of helps. You definitely should tell them to turn it down, oh, man, beat them up, lad. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. So I know that, like, so for instance, like, there's lots, there's lots of good, good artists. So yeah. I know there's artists coming out of universities, college, really talented people who yeah. are going to have a hard time because there's loads of artists. So I know that being an artist, being who I was, allow me that little leapfrog of being different like oh have you seen you know you know you're in the little rooms oh there's this rapper guy you know the one with the Talese and he draws pictures I mean when I was going through that Talese case the funny thing is I'll never forget this I was going through that case mm. the one thing when they thought I was going to get found guilty I remember the barrister this is when I realised how important my art was mm. never forget this I remember we was in, we, we, I remember my barrister locked my portfolio in the court to make sure I couldn't lose it for sentencing mm because he knew that he needed to show this to the judge on sentencing. Mm. Imagine Does that. Make that. Sense? <laughs> he got it locked in the court. I didn't even have it. Mm. That was that collection. Remember the collection I'm on the Amy Winehouse? Come on, fam. Whitney. Mm. You know when he's done that because Nara said I couldn't draw because it was Dwight's cousin. Mm. You know what I started that? You know what I started that collection? I'm in one time with the officer. I'll do the comic. Mm. And Nara's look at this. Like, yeah. And Dwight had the cousin. You know, he's got the cousin. He can draw the, the spot. Mm. She said, oh, you can't do Noid. I said, watch this. <laughs> Mm. What? But, yeah. Do <laughs> it in about wow. five days. Yeah, one of them I saw for five bags every day. Anyway, so boom. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't have 500 pounds off. for knowing about it. Mm. I wish I could draw. Did you know what? I, I wish I could draw as well. I actually. can't draw. I'm so shit. I'm shit. Women are different though. No, women I'm, just like like no, women draw. Draw. I'm like a stick man draw. I'm like a stick man draw. eyes can tap into other creative, uh, creative sides that yeah. yeah. men can't do artistic. My son can draw. Does that make sense? Yeah. But I think what we will be doing within the next five to ten years though. I will, 100%. This is something I can kind of say. I am going to be doing workshops. I am going to be doing things for like, you know what the beautiful thing about the art, the art journey? The art journey, it was the journey. It was a learning how to learn. It was being able to create value from nothing. You know, mm. I saw, I've sold pieces mm. in you know five bags upwards. So it's like knowing that. I've always been that. fascinated with that, that you can just take a blank canvas, you know, like and just... And there's the beauty. Do you understand what I mean? And like, and and, and my, so when I got crazy. when I went on the art journey, it's like okay, boom. You can learn how to draw. Mm. You can learn how to draw, or you can learn how to draw what you want. So I wanted to get to the point I could draw what I wanted, mm. and then you can enjoy it. Mm. And I'll be honest, you, I'm a big fucking nerd. Mm. Like, I'm a big fucking nerd. I'm the nerd that could bully the bullies. I say it's Kelvin mm. all the time. That's mm. what I was. And I love it. I love waking up. Being creative, thinking of new ideas, yeah. thinking of new concepts. Like, like, so, you know, do you, you think know. men are better drawers than women? Why you said that? No. Uh, uh, uh. Not per se, but well, obviously, no. if you think of all the artists, all the artists, they're all men. Yeah, but it's still Why did you Michelangelo, say that then? Leonardo. No, women have a different money. You tend to find that, like, for instance, if you if you go to all like the, when you study a lot, you tend to find women are more painters. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Where, who's the, I know. But think about who, who's the artist, the old school artist, Leonardo. Vinci, in, what, 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 um, in comparison money. to women, it's got men. Like, but you got it's not what so women many, is there. Not so many old school artists. It's more what um, women is there. Periods. What women is there? But they were just getting drawn like Mona Lisa. No, it? no, but that's not really fair at the time. Do you know why it's not really a fair thing? Because it's probably more uh, sexist. But yeah, mm, at the time, women say. Really, it wouldn't have been a lot of the men. A lot of the art. Because remember, at them times there, people like Michelangelo they doubled up as inventors and. Scientists as well. Yeah, they probably batted boys as well. Anyway, yeah, so. A lot of them were batted boys. Okay, man. No, a lot of antiquity was batted boys. Nah. Because of the, a lot of most of antiquity was batted yeah. boys. Mm. Okay, I'm saying. But flipping, I want to go back to what did you do this week? Because I done things this week. Here you go, <laughs> don't make me laugh. I done things this week. You get me? <laughs> we got my uh, free phantom man. Phantom, I was out with the Brum lads. You get me? First, I went. Yeah, I, I, I went. Um, actually, I went 
Manchester first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Garage Nation, big up, big bro, Kais. Always just has man when man go up there. You get me, Zach. I remember my little my mm, yeah, big Zach. Up, you get big me, Zach. Come to you. Big him up. You get me, mm. big Zach and um, Kier and Kers. Did we go through lots? No, we didn't go nuts. Big man up, done um, big up for these shared. Man that. done um, yeah. Garage Nation that night with Vader. Then we went Vader. Um, we went um, Birmingham the next day because Phantom was on a home leave. Okay. Went up there. Went to a little yeah, joint man. up there. Um, that was that was vibe still then went back to Manchester mm -mm. they got Bashman up there you get me Don't some lie. proper Bashman yeah <laughs> man Archangel going with his yeah. so yeah man, I, young boy. So young nah, man. <laughs> I only come back to, you know what I would have stayed up there till like yesterday bro, but I'm, it's only you know what it is he did that regularly you know yeah. bro man would buff up yo spray style down there blood mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah, I was going to stay there till, till yesterday but what happened it was Valentine's Day in it and I thought you I just recently got dumped in it I thought if I don't come back I was doing the Kanye shit I was doing some Kanye shit I was doing some Kanye shit like, that came, but Bend not them. not a chuckload. But I come and gave a dozen flowers. <laughs> I gave a dozen roses quickly. But obviously, I snapped out of that. The next day, I realized, ah, oh, you went mad. You get me, but boom, Aww. I've come back for that. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> if it weren't for that, I would have been there till yesterday, fam. Cause you know that's man's place. You know, yeah, man. Yeah. I prefer yeah. country. Yeah, come on. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I prefer, yeah. You know, when we doing the CDs, and they got yeah. they got more pure love. When we doing man. the CDs, mm -hmm. I'm honest with you. Yeah. See, when I was doing the CDs, mm. the best part about it was being able to pay to make one travel. Mm. They prefer, they, they got on. more pure love. See, even like Clinton. And big up Gav See, as Clinton, well, I spoke um, to him. Gav, I just spoke to Gav, Gav yesterday Yeah, I spoke well. to him, I spoke to him. Big him up, to man, Gav come on. But that's what I'm saying, mm. even Gav, I'm gonna have, yeah, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a Manchester. It's gonna be Manchester too soon, mm. but um, that you know what I mean. About the CDs was traveling. Yeah, but even Clinton. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Aggie, you get what I'm saying. Aggie proper, proper. Yeah, they man are. up there proper, straight got, down yeah. the line. Yeah, you know what? You get me. Got Aggie yeah. straight Come down the line. Up. Slash man them like they're straight down the line. See, when man was mm. traveling, one thing I will say, no, and let me add this as well. Let me add this. Even when it mm. came to the CDs, let me add this. One thing I always say, bro. You see them the way that certain sets used to look after the youth, bro. Mm, mm. Bro, hunt, like fair, did they see them man there? Bro, and every time I love the youth selling like I remember never forget this to put it into comparison one time. <laughs> one time we said, bro, yeah. And I used to take the youths everywhere to go sell CDs and yeah, to, to. and I'd leave them like they they would say Dizzy would always have like a couple of men around a couple of the youths. Mm. So they'd pick them up to go get breakfast or one day. One day they picked them up to go get breakfast. And I remember I'd turn around to Zimborn. Boom boom. Oh, I turned to Dizzy like, right, let me um let me see them your yeah, tears. Mm. So anyway, mm. but the youths has been selling the CDs. Just good youths, normal youths. That's what I used to mm. love about it. Because mm. that's what the thing with the CDs, you can get these good guys. And make them feel good about themselves. Yeah, yeah. Not feel like they're under pressure. They have to be no fake rude, but they can sell CDs and feel good. So like, and the youth looked at my man, but Dim's he's taking them everywhere to go get breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. Looked after him for like a day. He said, "Yeah, all that time, he was, and he's been so, mm -hmm. yeah." But they don't get that in London. Mm -mm. They never experience that kind of hum, 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 humbleness. Yeah, humble yeah, 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 yeah. So when they're going from and. The way, if they say in Bris, Aggie would grab them and... That Zimbo switched it up, man. He's a, you get me, I rate him still. Like, but the, but once I say, even when they was active, mm. their thing was always love anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So way, when I, you know, like, when I see certain men profess to what they are, when I knew them, when I'm going to these play, Bro, every time, I remember one time I was in Bris, I'll never forget this, I was with, who was I with? Aggie was there, Aggie was with Obviously. Me. And Cliff, I think it was his brethren, Cliff, um, I'll never forget this. I'm walking somewhere, and he's going, yo, you know why, man, fuck with you, blood? You're the only one that comes to the hood. I remember getting passionate about it. So you're the only one. Because what, yeah, what was happening in them times there, the good thing about this, the CD thing with the youths was like a Trojan horse as well. Because mm. when you go out to town, remember, man, I'm going place, I'm hearing, man, I link in, man, and it shoot out, it's all getting paid, shit, funny, he's coming back, say, yo, we have to shoot out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny so, loves it, man. But what the thing was, when man, I got a link in these, man, they got them, funny, man. They, they got big up. Shine as well, man. Funny, shine, man, them little bros, like, held me down for years. Mm. But the thing is, when man are going out of town and linking them, they're going out as man, so they're going as gang. Mm. I'm big, so I'm, I'm going mad. Come on, We're talking Mike's, not in them. Mike's, going come mad. on, you're going mad. That's my brother. I'm living with them for about, that's, mm. what, that's what I bought the yards as well, man. Mm. So, like, 
But when man are going out and Link's seeing them, they're going as man. So you're getting man coming from London, but they're going as man. So it's conflictual most of the time. But I'm going out to these places. So I might have been in jail with a man or whatever. I'm going as a Trojan horse. I'm going with kids mm. and a scenario. So I'm going to all these spaces every weekend. So I'm yeah. in knots. Uh, so there'll be times I'll be in Wales in the, one evening and I'm in knots the following day. Then I'm back in Bristol that day. Now I'm in Ireland. That's okay. how the season was allowing man to right, move. We was right. never, ever stationed. Yeah, yeah. Like everywhere I'm going, I'm going to these places. But one thing I always knew, and I always knew at the time, I always said to myself, it, irrespective of anything that happens, this will make my name last. And I always knew that. Does yeah, that make sense? Yeah. I always knew that this work will make my name last because I'm yeah. putting CDs in a house. I'm going to these hoods, bro. You know how much time man will stand up in Briss? Like, and they're gangsters as well, you know. They're not going to eat. That's what I'm tell you. They see, like, bro, I've had youths on in St. Paul's. I'm with the man, them, and I've got youths. I ain't old. seen as much buying as when I've gone country. Come on. Mm. Like, no matter how man think they're that, wicked and bad, and, 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 and I that, swear that these and, lot are stupidly that the wicked beauty, and bad. Listen, that was the beautiful, beautiful mm. thing about the CD thing. They're actually, my heroes are actually going to, they're going to the christenings, they're going to the funerals, like, they're actually mm. popping up at all these places selling CDs, because we're in, the, we're in, I ain't there. seen no not, more machine than in Birmingham. <laughs> You've got I've seen, I've seen machine in, in, in Manchester still, Go but, but Birmingham, Go on. Machine. Go on. I've you know, seen machine in, in Liverpool, but I see Birmingham. Roll machine. it. Roll just over the line. See that dad there? I'm coming back to the time and I say, yo, I'm here and you. Love the man them though. The man them made sure. Love the man them, man. The Love the man them. Free Gav. You He's get home me? soon anyway. Free Gav. Robber Hollow as well, my guy. You get what I'm saying? But now, man, Gav a bad boy, man. I would have had Gav on his Gav, 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 Gav a bad boy. Gav a bad boy. Imagine one time, yeah? Jeez. Imagine one time Dizzle's picked me up from the train station, yeah? Mm. So we've got the problem now. Dizzle's really, picked guys. <laughs> Dizzle's picked me up from the train station, yeah? Mm. And I've got about two of the youths with me. Bro, as soon as we've come out of the train station, yeah? The helicopter's on there, isn't it? <laughs> My man's blown out the helicopter, but on a madness door. Like, madness. But the youths are excited. They're loving this. Mm. Blown into the estate, hopped in the studio like the police wasn't after him. You got weed left? Mm. That's how they're mm. the not used to live normal. Oh. And you know he leaves, I got this, it's all right. It's and then just blown into the studio like <clears throat> normal. Mm. Yeah, man. I got this dilemma. Have ya? Every episode, we get a different dilemma, blood. Yeah. Mm. This is the next dilemma now. They're going to want Cream's advice. As usual. <laughs> but yeah, it says, Dear RTM Podcast Show, I've been single for four years now after a painful breakup and I really feel like it's time for me to settle down and find a new girl. I'm from London and I met this girl on a night out in Birmingham a few years ago and I was attracted to her immediately. So we exchanged numbers and I've kept in con contact ever since via social media and she came and met me once when she was in London. I really like her and want to make her my girl but we both have commitments in our area and two kids each from previous relationships. My friends say I should just forget about this girl and find another girl that's more local stating that there's plenty more fish in the sea. The problem is I really want this fish. How can I make this work? Or is it a lost cause? What's your advice, please, Cream? Cream, you know. Cream, you know. Keep up the good work, by the way, you two. Loving season three. Big you up. Big you what up. What was you saying in between all of that? No, was it two girls? Two girls? Was that a guy? Was that a, was that a guy? That's a guy. Was guy mad? Like, so what, what, where, where's the... Soft and <laughs> 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 so he's, 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 he's... Like, what kind of part... <laughs> he's in he's London. <laughs> he's in London, yeah. He's in London. And she's in... <coughs> Birmingham. That's not far. Yeah. For a relationship. No, I, don't, I think that's workable. Right. I've dated, you know why? I think once. that's workable. Because, really in because it's only, what is that, the M1 between well, he's you and Well, telling him it's long. No, Find bro, something right. more local. Right, but he said, what, that they've got commitments that they're not going to... Like, basically, they've got commitments. They've got two youths yes, as well. Yes, I hear that. Um... So one can't move to there and one can't yeah. move to there. So okay, basically, they've got to make it work from there and there. But it's early doors, though. I think they can make that work. It depends. If you really, it depends on how much you like her. If you don't really Come like, like he her, likes her. Still, he it says coming he wants like you like fish. her. I don't think that. He says, Bridget said there's plenty more fish. But in I want this <laughs> fish. That's, <laughs> what, that's what was funny to me. Oh, but no, I no, want no, this no, fish. No, I don't no, think that. Sometimes that mum was travelling around. Most of the girlfriends I would have went out with, were out of town. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But did See? you make it work? Yeah. How? 
let them know how. how and sometimes you'll put in more effort because they're but out there. Said, but I was travelling all the That's time. That's a lot so of I, mileage I was, on the car, yeah, man. Yeah, I guess, because I was in Brom like every other day or every other evening, so I'm up and down. So there was a girl, like, I think I didn't even marry from Brom. She came out to London to work for me for a while. Mm. Maybe stay a couple of days a week. Stay out there a couple of days a week. And they both got two kids anyway, so I'm sure like they're going to be busy working. Well, the, the girl's field. obviously got the kids with her. Yeah, so she's going to have to like, my do man, school run can, and stuff. My man, he can just drop out his use, isn't it? Here you go. But like, <laughs> no, yeah, but I'm sure like there's some form of compromise and they're not far away. You look can meet in you the middle. You know what I'm saying, nobody. Oh, you think with him. Yeah. He could kind of just chat to his youths on, on FaceTime. He can just... What a fucking donkey, <laughs> though. his youths on does. FaceTime. He can just chat to them on FaceTime in the bathroom. You know the ones that just go in the bathroom and just chat to his youths on FaceTime? <laughs> Man's got the whole scenario mapped out, you know? Like, you go off room. You know the ones that... But you can't just show your youths that you're with the next team. So boldly. So boldly. You have to move like mommy's game, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be moving like daddy's guy, man. Can't move like daddy's lonely. You get what I'm saying? It sounds like he likes her because he wants to be seeing her regular. He in wants, the sand. Sounds like she got some awkums, but he didn't, was, he didn't even say he beat. <laughs> he even, I realize he's a madman. Hold on, what do you say? How long have they beat? How, oh, how long have they beat? How long have they been seeing each other? He hasn't beat. He didn't even say that. that. You don't no, know. I How long? Look, what did he say? How long has they been seeing each other? He says, "All right, cool. I've been single for four years. You're good. You're a yeah. madman. Hold on. We exchanged. We exchanged numbers, and I've kept in contact ever since via social media. That's and it. And she came and met me once when she was in London. He didn't say. He didn't say he beat. <laughs> he didn't beat them. But boy, he's, he's definitely like, that. Yeah, I really I, like her. I want to make her my girl, but we both act. Does she even want to be the girl, though? No, like, here we do. Here's I realize you need to just actually you know, ask her to see if she wants to be that. If, the, if their point of this is actually to give good advice, yeah, it is. It is the it is. good advice I'd say but is just, I've got to give my just advice, it? enjoy. They want cream's advice. No, bro. I'd say enjoy yeah. what it is at this moment. And is it even there. anything? Do no, whatever, whatever it is. No, it but is, you don't know you how you don't know moment. how much yeah, texting yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, they yeah, was yeah, going through. Yeah, 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 but I just think like, that I think mm. you're jumping the gun a bit. I think you're getting too far. I think you need to slow down. Yeah, I agree. Just have fun. Enjoy. Enjoy what it is. It's very early doors. It's early doors. You don't just exchange numbers. He said, "I've been single for four years now after a painful breakup." <laughs> okay. See, you don't even Man. know if this is a rebound. No, said, uh, it's uh, a uh, now four years is a long rebound, though. Huh? No, I said he don't. You don't know. No, if but this if it's is a rebound, four years later, fuck you, no. Oh, oh, oh! I thought he said he said he'd been single for four oh, years oh, after said, a painful oh. breakup, but yeah, he's, still, cool. he's still on his brain. The breakup's still on his brain from four no, years ago. No, because when he said painful, like there might be a couple trust issues there. That's why. That's why the um the distance might be a bit triggering. How much time he's got? But it's four years. I know for real. It don't say say stuff. It might be going for a crisis. I really yeah, yeah, midlife, 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 crisis. Crisis. midlife crisis. I really like feel like it's time for me down. to settle down and find yeah. a new girl. <laughs> Fuck you know, it's time about two years ago, brother. Yeah, you don't want to be travelling. Must have healed up the after M1, two years, but you don't want to go up all the way up the M1. Do you get what I'm saying? Birmingham, I mean, like you said, it's not. It could it's be not worse. That far. It could Imagine actually be worse. Birmingham like an hour and twenty minutes. That's what I'm saying. I've done not an hour fifteen. Man. It could be worse. Do you know what I mean? Do you get me? You got to just. I don't know. You got to try. Yeah. Try and make it work, buddy. Do you know what I mean? See how it goes. If the distance, I mean? if the distance proves to be a problem, then obviously you lot cool it off. But try and get. But a I beat. don't think that's a big enough reason. Try and get a beat. <laughs> that's what you need to do. <laughs> try and beat. Next time you link her, try and beat. Cause you need to know. If the pussy's good, you get what I'm saying? Because you might just be getting mad, you're trying to do all of this shit, and then it's a baggy pom pom. And then now what? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, you need to try I, and beat. I, no, I, I, I hear the dilemmas on the week. You need to try and beat. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it, it's like anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, fam? You need to try and beat. Beat. So then you know it's what. He's a hobby. He needs a hobby. He needs a hobby. You get what I'm saying? He's a hobby. But. Big you up the same way, though. But, big up, um, though. And you know what I mean? Up for, yeah, for writing in. But yeah, it's early doors. It's early doors. It's early doors, but yeah. Take Mike's advice, just mm. calm down and just enjoy enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the moment. You can send some pictures that make you feel good about yourself. Enjoy the moment. Yeah, for real. You could just have FaceTime sex and all yeah, that. But they, mo- they might be already Bill doing it up. that. Bill it up. You know, because you know he's saying they've been on the show, they've been talking. She needs to jump in her car. Mm. Yeah. But she when can't leave there, her kids. Things start making sense. She can't leave her kids. She no, but she, she might make uproot it make sense. everybody. And if he builds it to the point where she makes it, you. 
She could just leave them in it. They might be old kids in it. That's what you want. So baby but... laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've given you, brother. I've helped you as much as I can. Tell him I've helped him. He's off him. I'll leave you with spray. So to me, I'd say I'd try and try and beat, bro. Just get get the beat, fam. Cause you might be doing all of that and the beat's dead. Mm. Mm. <laughs> then what? You're just writing into the podcast, going mad, <laughs> and the beat's dead. After all, like you're a madman, but big you up. You get what I'm saying? Big him yeah. up, bro. Hey, every episode mm-hmm. we give them a book to go and read. But guess what? This episode is from Mike Joe. Mm-hmm. I've mm-hmm. gone to Mike's yard and he's just heavy. He had bare books, and I said, "Man, I was racing him. What's this book you got today, Mike? To give to them? Because I like, I actually like the thought of it. Meditation. Meditation. Hmm. Meds. Yeah. See, I'm a man. I like to be. I, love I like the whole of meds. Trust and a good me. meds. This synopsis is blood clot lung. Hold on. Meditations is a collection of twelve books written by Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. The books were originally compiled in the form of private journals, which Marcus Aurelius used as personal guides to live by and to better himself as a ruler. He compiled these notes during his time as emperor, and while they were not intended for public consumption, there are valuable lessons to be gleaned. I don't know why it says gleaned, I'm sure it says means learned from his wisdom, but maybe it says gleaned, a different word. But yeah, the entries include his views of Stoicism. What's that called? Stoicism. Stoicism. The Hellenistic philosophy devoid of destructive emotions that could tamper with logic and its practical use in ruling and military tactics. With a new foreword written by Huffington Post writer Caroline Gregoire. So, this publication of Meditations is the premier collection of Marcus Aurelius's work. Marcus Aurelius was born in 121 AD. He was the Roman Emperor between 161 AD and 180 AD. His meditations is our closest link to ancient Stoicism and its practices. Can you um, enlighten us? Because this is, it's interesting to me. Um, we want to kind of... Just enlighten us on... So I mean, you've read it, I haven't read can it you, Can you tell me what... Sto- you see Stoicis, Stoicism. Stoicism. Is it like if someone says he's very Stoic? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So, like, right, I know the funny thing about Stoicism, it kind of means more than just that, like... So, all your early philosophers, from mm. everyone from mm. Plato to Aristotle, Socrates, mm. who kind of believe in... And the funny thing, most of the things that we, like, have today, anything from The Secret, Think and Grow Rich... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The origins... Ends here. I'm sure, like, you know, like, we've done the typicals. We used to talk about this the other day, like, we've done things like 48 Laws, for instance, yeah? Mm. 48 Laws, is, it, for me, is, is the perspective of a certain type of person, if you want that information. Mm. Then you might have the Art of War. We were mm. done the Art of War in prison. Mm. Yeah, the Art of War is more in line with people like Marcus Aurelius. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing about Stoicism, Stoicism all comes from antiquity, so it's, like, Hellenistic and all that period of time, so it's, like, Stoicism is from antiquity, so it tells you that these people needed this way of thinking to survive and to make sense of the world as it is. So you can't beat that information. It's like if I say, when people ask me about training, for instance, I only, I only listen to trainers older than myself, or I like to listen to information from someone older than me, mm. so therefore I know it works. There's no point in me listening to someone who's younger than me. Mm. So when you listen to information, and this type of information, you're getting it from the source. This is what Stoicism is, it's the source. It's the, and the thing about even Stoicism, so Stoicism, and it, 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 it can align with religion, it can align mm. with everything, it's, it's just an understanding. Now, for the reason we end up here, I guess, is for instance, if you live like man and you know man, and also it's a thing where, so for instance, I chat to this madman here, mm. I know this madman gets it. I get it. Me, see, so people, people often, often question like me and Spray's relationship, they wonder, like, you mm. two are different, we're not really. Mm. But we just had different batteries in our backs sometimes, mm. you know that? Mm. Different scenarios, different outlets. Mm. So like, but there's an understanding of a level of mindset, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And Stoicism, it appeals to that mindset. Like, it appeals to the man who's trying to make sense of the noise. It appeals to, like, okay, I hear all of this, but what is it actually? Mm. Does it make sense? So, like, of course. And that's, what, that's the difference between real and fake. And I said something to him in the car yeah. the other day. I said, you know, it'd be funny if people would just realise that you realise that people are nervous all the time. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Sue? Because that's what this madman realised a long time ago. You're not nervous. And I'm not even on something nervous. Or, <laughs> so like it's 
it's the understanding of what these things are and this stoicism and I say to him I just you know even if you get time to play the quotes but again it's like finding that balance and it, you know they, people have their opinion of man uh, to how I am and to how a lot of the time I'm just trying to get true you know it's like we say like, like I'm trying to make sense of it yeah I don't like most people because most people don't mm. even know why mm. they're the way they're doing what they do exactly doing. most of us don't so in other mm. words if I know if I'm fucked and you don't know you're fucked <laughs> yeah. you ain't gonna see eye to eye <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. I'm trying to deal with where I'm fucked yeah. mm. and you're there telling me yeah, you know what mm-hmm. mm-hmm. stay over there yeah. stay over there so like <clears throat> I'm here trying to work out how I get to the next phase mm. so when I'm so that's what it is it's just, it's, 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 it's just constant finding finding yourself and trying to be in that space but mm. also listening to the people that like it's a, and things, things like you could you could have someone who was you could have a peasant or an emperor tell you the same thing this makes sense. This was an emperor who didn't need to understand anyone. He, mm. Marcus Aurelius is what they call the last of the five great emperors. Rome in general was run by madmen, but a few of the great mm. emperors kept it together. So any, you know, and it, it, it tell and everything was, for instance, we li- if this it wasn't for this madman, we wouldn't be here. Mm. And, but sorry, if it wasn't for this man making sense of his madness, mm. we wouldn't be here. Mm. Like, facts. London wouldn't be formed this way. Wembley wouldn't exist. Mm if these people didn't get to grips with their heads, because this is who designed these roles we live on, this is who designed, like we still live in, 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 in the echo of Rome, mm-hmm. because they had a few men like this who could make sense of the madness. Mm-hmm. Come on. There were other greater empires. We've got Roman mm-hmm. roads, man, M1 and that. But even it's the whole form to everything we live to this day, to the mm-hmm. fact we're here. Mm-hmm. They took our information from Africa, they mm-hmm. translated it. Romans were the first franchises. They got information from everywhere, franchised it, had to make sense of it. Had to, so you had a few good leaders, mm-hmm. and they had a few good philosophers. But some of their philosophers died broke and nameless. But now we look back through history and say, "Rah, they were the ones who knew." Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter. It's just are we trying to make sense of what it is? So even you, in our music. And do you know what I think is also as well? I think it's very, very important that we start documenting things, like as telling uh, telling the story through our word. Yes, this because is the way how we live our life. Like you know, like we listen to stories that was that was written back in the day. Yes, and there's many right. great men. I'm sure and great people that we just didn't get to hear their story because they didn't write it. It's like the era that we we were before social media, innit? And you know, like there's certain things even like with, you know, like you say, oh, I wish we could document certain times that we didn't get to. I think a lot of people need to make, start making personal notes on what's going on. When you start to understand a lot of like what what was happening, like basically, I remember watching something yesterday and there was a, 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 a historian, he was saying that we might take quotes and sayings from like this period of time but he said we, what we, people don't realise when we talk about like Hellenistic or that we're actually talking about African quotes we're actually talking about African history this is actually African history this is Mediterranean this is African history so sometimes we read these things not realising that we are actually getting it but it's also here does it make sense? Mm-hmm. Meditations Marcus Aurelius translated translation by Sir George William Crystal forward by Caroline Gregoire Good book. Go and check that out. Yeah. Well, even what I say to people as well, even if get, you don't even have to read all the books. Sometimes you can just like put, you know, get back some of the quotes. You have got people like Sensei, uh, you got uh, Marcus Aurelius, you got Plato, you got Aristotle, you got m- more modern philosophers as well. People like Fro- uh, Freud. You got there's loads. You can just keep them going on. But look, check out take, take Machiavelli. Time. Mac Prince Machiavelli is a good one as well. Very good one. Mm. Like, They've got Machiavelli off as a narcissist. Bro. He's not. You got to read into Ma- Machiavelli's no. whole thing. Was the funny thing is, me and you spoke about it the other day. I was looking at something else about him. It's funny because even that saying where um, do you love? Uh, is it better to be loved feared or feared? Or, he actually didn't mean what most people think he meant. He, and remember, he's always talking. He about, actually says it's better to be feared. Actually. No, he says it's better to be loved, but he said fear is necessary to be a prince. Uh, so the whole thing was the Prince Machiavelli. He was telling princes mm, how to be princes. Mm, Does that make sense? He wasn't telling you how to be a human being. Telling you if you want to rule, this is how you rule. Mm. That makes sense, but like, I, 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 I understand that. I feel like if you, I think be to be fair, ruler, like all, 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 the, uh, all of them are that. narcissistic. If how, how you look at what it, exactly, have to be, no, exactly, what that, this is what this is. What it is is understanding your narcissism. Do you understand? Mm. It's not saying I'm not. This is what this is what. If you if is. you're not if you're not a narcissist, how, not how they, narcissism. No, but I'm saying how they try and they try and make narcissism seem like it's a bad thing. But there's bad narcissists and there's good narcissists. With good comes bad, in the, as in, 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 with everything. In the end, it boils Do you down get what I'm trying to, to say? There's the people. Listen, it boils down to understanding, and that's what you find in, in, in stoicism more than anything, and in, in them teachings, because it's about understanding, not about 
right, wrong, good, but I, I, even when I deal with human beings, I've got a saying, yeah, I don't, it's not about right or wrong, it's about intention. Mm-hmm. Like, I deal with human beings on intention. That's it. Like, Definitely. I've got, I That's know people it. with intent Definitely. who have done fucked up things with good intent or who, 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 mm. or who don't have bad intentions for me. I know mm. people who have done wonderful things for me but their intent for me generally bad. is not good. Yeah. Mm. So it's differentiating in that. So it's understanding mm. your weaknesses and saying, okay, because this doesn't, when stoicism doesn't, isn't intentions about, is, is, is you know, intentions important. is the one. It's about, it's about it's stoicism is about when you wake up in the morning and you feel angry, understand today is to teach you, not to, so it, it's, it's, it's to you to deal with actually what it is rather than what you want it to be. And that's what real is, isn't it? If your brain can, you know, if your brain can see it and your heart would do it, that's the essence of being a real commitment working for it. Mm. And my clothes are sold out, so I can't give Mike any clothes today. Mm. Don't get no clothes. But I want some clothes, bro. <laughs> you're, you're like double XL. For a fuck. No, you're like double mate. XL. Mm-mm. No, but I'm not, Actually, I'm not think, doing no more like, I'm, this is, I've said this at one point. I want what, are you, what are you, double XL or something? Yeah, but this is a, this is a XL, but yeah, man. I might have an XL. Oh, I might have an XL. I want to really the most something, bro. I might have an XL. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're my bridge, and I can just yeah. give you that anytime. Yeah, that's what I want, man. I can give you that anytime, fam. You get what I'm saying? In fact, you owe me something, man. You're not, you owe me something. Like that, fam. There's something in the office. There's something in the office. Uh-huh. Yeah, baby. So. Mm. <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Man, give me a zoot for when I get make my million, innit? Yeah. Little GLC artist, this is what it look like graffiti on there. Put yeah, Miller, NFT, put it up as an NFT. Lit. Miller, I don't know what NFTs is. Show me how to do it. Yeah, show me how to do it. There's That's no weed lit. in there. There's, there's no weed in there. Don't piss me off, you know. I swear that if I smoke this and there's fucking cigarette in it when I've made a million. I just million, told you yeah. I'm gonna put up as an NFT, so I was like, I say there's no weed in there. When I've made it, okay. Nah, man, there's weed in there, man. Not that means we're selling drugs online. It doesn't. Why are we selling it? You're giving it to me. <laughs> if I put NFT split on that, you're, so you're giving it to me. You're giving it to me, bro. But uh, yeah, so Ganja, you blood. So when you get, when I get my meal, or when you feel right. that you're in, the, in the place where it's coming in. No, when I get my meal, because I still, I feel like I'm in a place that is coming in now. Come on. Do you before. think I'm stop smoking for no reason, that's bro? Like, that's mm-hmm. like, that's I'm like, getting my million, bro. That's like in shot yeah. yeah. I mean, for real. I'm getting my mood. Do you get what I'm like saying? Cream's getting their milk. From what, from what I'm telling me, from what I'm telling me about we'll it, it was Yeah, we're not on no E, that too. Yeah, I can mm-hmm. believe that still. Do you know what I mean? Man's getting the office and they're saying Spotify is working. Mm. Anyway, mm-hmm. just crack on doing. This is what I want to say before we cut anyway. I want my brother to crack on doing what he's doing. Um, I would really hope him not to get into no more scrimps and scrapes. No nah, man, I'm I, good um, man. I'm so glad that this nigga's found something good and positive good, to man. do. Good man, ain't sold one machine. I'm good man. And um, just keep doing what you're doing, my bro, man. This is beautiful. This is a good thing. And like I said, you, I'm, I'm popping up for this podcast before I do anything. And even if I do, I don't. I can't see me doing nothing. I want to sit back and go and draw some pictures after this. I'm going yeah, no, nah, man's just gonna get you after this movie, bro. Mm. After this movie, man's gonna get him back. Well, we might even, we might even have other talks anyway, so. Anyway, whichever way we're gonna, we, we, we're gonna. That's gonna, yeah. Look out for that. So just up, definitely look out for that. So yeah, because so it's gonna right, be yeah. very so interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna you link, get me. You big up, his, link up. Love. You know, you know what I love about what, what what it is as well is that Rashi respects the art. Yeah. This is a song. But like I said, Rashid was cool. Rashid was my bridging, you know. I like Rashid until he tried to, when that My Man's album came out that same week, and then he tried to do a madness with the fumes, the engineer. Um, he loves you. Thing. I know. I know Rashid. But loves Fumes you. is a dickhead anyway. That's what I'm saying. I, I, Rashid, you're actually my bridge in that. Cause I realise Fumes is a madman. But yeah, yeah, now he can. Lost you his know, song. he hit me with a concert. We had an idea for it a long time ago, and he picked it back up and he bought it. And it's it means a lot to me. Cause obviously, it's a song which is close to my heart. So I'm big him up for that. So look out for that. We're gonna start getting that together um, soon. And look out. Obviously, Hitman Sagas got the comic and all that coming. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. Um, you can go on. You can go on the website now. We've got the virtual gallery. You can go and have a look at. There's a lot. Of, there's this. You know, sit, but you know, just just check support it out, the kid, man. man. Yeah. Follow the queen. We're gonna get back to your madness. Ice follow cream, the queen. Post the girl on Instagram. Um, follow my business page. Post the girl lashes and Ice Cream TV on YouTube. Gas, you look at her. Gas. <laughs> follow me at big underscore bad underscore spray on um, Instagram I still need to get on to Colin you know you got a mad call but um, yeah at RTM podcast show follow that as well on Instagram yeah, at RTM on. clothing original 
www.realadamost.com because I'm an entrepreneur. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Man's an entrepreneur. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so boom, cool. yeah. And check out the thing them on Spotify and all that because Deluxe is pattern that. You get what I'm saying? I know cream can't, but your face changed. <laughs> <but Yeah>. Boom. <laughs> Spotify, Apple Podcasts and all that. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Boom. We're on that now. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. We're on all of that. You get what I'm saying? Like, money. You get what I'm saying? But boom. Yeah, entrepreneur. Look, Bush, big up Bushkin as well. Bush, you get what I'm saying? Bush, but it's good big material. Bush, yeah. It's clean. Bush good bash. material. Bush bash. You see me? Yeah, big, big up Bushkin. Bush, Bush, you get what I'm saying? I'm following my brother, my big brother. Come on. Thank you for coming through, though, bruv. Please. Yeah. And you know what? I've got to give me flowers. You didn't give me flowers properly. No, come on, bro. You deserve you know so much, bro. Mm-hmm. No, but you deserve no. so much. Listen, big up the show. No, you deserve so much. Let us say. Show. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Like, they might act like they don't, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But realistically, from the start, bro. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, man deserves his fucking yeah. flowers, mate. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I'm because I'd like to say, this is, this is, the amount of times I heard my name, I said it to, I said it to him, I said, bro, mm. Before I even crack on and get on with what I'm doing in life, I gotta do this because the amount of times my name's come up in the show in a positive way, mm-hmm. with the truth, I can't, I couldn't not do it. Because mm. this is a platform for the legends, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this is a platform for the legends. I'm trying to do my Nori shit. I'm trying to get my Nori on. Come on. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because they forget about a lot of people, but mm. this is not a guy you can forget about. He's done a lot. Do you get? And that's why I even said, even Kat, certain people I know has to come and sit down Kat next to me and have a conversation. Mm. 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 Do you get what I'm trying to say? I have to come in and have a conversation. But I know them, like, they got the, the thing about you channel coming out soon as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Ev- sub- everyone's got to come and have a conversation. Yeah. But in between, we have all sorts of guests. Do you get what I'm saying? They followed us. Do you get what I'm saying? They follow mm-hmm. us. Do mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? They want to get guests now. But the come difference on. is, I know my guests. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? <laughs> my guests are my bridges. Do you get what I'm saying? They know me. I know them. I even know your guests. Do you get me? Jamek, <laughs> Jamek, Power from Layton Stone. Jammer, Jamek, I know you, you know me, I know all your guests, you get what I'm saying? Okay, I'm okay. heavy, I'm heavy. Yeah. <laughs> pounds, big up, big up pounds is thing. Big up pounds. Big up everyone, yeah. Big up everyone. Like, big up like everyone doing their thing, you know the facts. Big up everyone, but you just knew you had to come on your brother's one first, because yeah. man a bad boy. I said from the beginning, boy. Man a bad boy. I don't do you in pounds. But I come come on, man. First, but so. me first, come on a bad boy. You get what I'm going, man. Mm. It's the magnum. No, I'm a mad man. So you it's the magnum. Mad, you're a mad man. It's the magnum. Love my bad. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Nah, it's a good show. Really the most to the world and them girls.